we're going to we're going to actually nope, stop it. Star, so we're going to Kifumi for the first time. Kanda? Yeah, Kanda Church. Hey, hey! What? <sighs> yes? Can I help you? you Can't you be Shoki? Huh? Um, you don't necessarily have to learn from me, you know. There are other options. Such as playing online. Sorry. I just can't. Well then. Um, so you like Shoki? I want to play with like you. Like me? You're a bit strange, but thank you. Um. Okay, just a quick game then. 20 seconds per move, if that's all right with you. Uh, I don't know how to play. Ah. Okay. I'll start. So this is your skill level, huh? The dragon which governs the blue sky has fallen into my hands. How do you intend to survive this? Check. It's checkmate, no matter how you look at it. Please concede. Uh, I can still keep going. To concede is an act of admitting that you have lost, with grace. If you aspire to become a shogi player, I recommend that you take your study of the game to heart. Thank you for playing. Well then, that will be all for today. If it's all right with you, may I request another match sometime? I feel a gambler's spirit emanating from you. Damn right. Which is strange, since your style of play is that of a complete novice. Oh, that's it, thank you. Yeah, you were different, too. Huh? Oh, I'm sorry. However, I will instruct you under one condition. You become my playing partner so that I can research new moves. Is that agreeable? Sounds good to me. Thank you very Well then, it's a deal. I'll teach you how to play, and you'll assist me with my new moves. that quite advanced strategies are necessary to succeed at that many criminal acts. And yours weren't by the wit of an amateur. You had a professional who regularly deals with such tactics. You have an idea on who that is, don't you? It is... Okay, let's end here for today. Thank you for today. I'd like to thank you once again for today. Before you head home, would you like to exchange IDs with me? There's no obligation, of course. Uh, sure. Thank you. All right then. Let's see. Ah, yes, it went through. Until next time. Cool. Don't be ridiculous. This new ally you gained was Makoto. Just tell me the truth. Mm, you already know the truth. Makoto. That's preposterous! If what you say is true, was Makoto also running from the police when you were arrested? Ask her yourself. Now that I think about it, she did start talking a lot about the investigation from summer onward. <sighs> Makoto aside, you mentioned one other important detail. Did Kanashiro really say there was someone using the metaverse besides the Phantom Thieves? Those words could just be taken as you shifting blame to this other person, you know. It's the truth. <laughs> but why would you fabricate such an elaborate story and then shift the blame elsewhere? There are two possibilities. 
Either you've simply been trying to confuse me with your lies, or everything you've stated is true. Have you been telling me the truth from the very start? I have no reason to lie. Does that mean you're placing your trust in me? <sighs> then again, I am investigating a thief who steals hearts. Very well. No matter how absurd it may seem, I'll reevaluate my stance on believing you, for now. In return, speak the whole truth and nothing but the truth. It's a fair deal. Is that acceptable? I get you. All right. We're running out of time. Let's move on to your next target. Actually, I should rephrase that. They targeted your group first, didn't they? The identity of your opponent is this. We have no pictures. Even their names and identities are unknown. If what you told me is true, then this nav thing you've mentioned wouldn't have worked in this case. How did you target them? Tell me everything. Hey, check the ingredients in the fridge. Hey, what's up? Huh? It's not right? Not cute. That was the one the staff recommended to me, though. Won't that printer do? Huh? Okay, I'll be right over. <sighs> this might take a while. I'm leaving the store to you. Plus. No, I... Oh, I'm pressing a wrong button. <laughs> Oops. Okay, lock up for me if I don't come back. Uh, yeah. You got it. I owe you one. <laughs> what a handful. And that concludes the latest news on the suspect Kaneshiro. This case is said to be a result of the Phantom Thieves' actions, but what do you think? We don't know their methods, but I believe they are a menace that will threaten this law-abiding country. This dangerous group tampers with people's hearts. It's no different from brainwashing. I see. You're absolutely correct. I wonder what's going on. Didn't this happen a little while ago, too? Who was it again? You know, that famous artist. Ah, Madorame, was it? They punished those awful people, didn't they? The Phantom Thieves aren't at fault, then. Well, that may be true, but... Don't you think so, too, dearie? The Phantom Thieves aren't doing anything wrong, are they? Probably not. Well, I think they're doing good. Oh, my. Look at the time. We should probably head home. Ah, you're right. Thanks for the drink. Yes. I've received the reports on Kaneshiro's case, but to think the Phantom Thieves would honestly attempt an absurd idea like social reform. Uh, you're absolutely right. I'm not pleased about the general public's support of them either. There's also the danger of the Metaverse being exposed with their continued actions. Actually, there is one countermeasure he brought in that seems usable. It involves having the Phantom Thieves destroy themselves without our direct intervention. We'll set things up so that those mental shutdown occurrences are their doing. Ah, I thought as much. I had a feeling that it was too brutal for it to be his own idea. Still, to think you'd go through such elaborate detail to crush them. Their actions must be that much of an eyesore for you. I sympathize with what you're going through. Well then, we'll clean this up quickly and put it behind us. Yes, a grand undertaking like social reform is beyond a group such as the Phantom Thieves. Only a select few are worthy of changing the world. And who better than the future Prime Minister, sir? Watch the store. Gotcha. 
We're gonna come over right now about the, uh, you know what. See ya. What's up? We're here to hang out. That's not why we're here. We need to study for finals. <sighs> why am I here too? You're one of us now, so of course you gotta help us. We're in trouble if you don't teach us, you know. Uh, hmm. uh, that's right. Even you're saying such things? Let's leave those guys be. <sighs> I couldn't ask the last time I was here, but what is this place? The storekeeper doesn't seem to be around. It's where this guy lives. He's got complicated circumstances. We can tell her about it, right? Actually, tell yourself. That's... that's terrible. Han, Yusuke, and me are pretty much the same, too. I mean, <laughs> it's not as bad as this guy's, though. It's just something we can't ever put up with. That's why we all became Phantom Thieves. Hey, don't forget me. I know, I know. We're all part of the team. By the way, Makoto, ain't there someone you can't forgive either? Like, a heart you want to change? That's a secret. Ah, there's someone like that. You could just tell us, you know. You don't gotta be so cold. That aside, do you have any intention of studying for the exams? Not really. It's fine if I leave then? No, no, I I'm just joking. Please teach us. Hmm, what was this term? It's phobia, so it's a fear of some kind. I think it's a fear of open spaces. You don't hear it that often, though. Leave vocabulary and long sentences to me. I suck at proper grammar, though. Ugh, even if we study English, it's not like I'm gonna use it in the future. When it comes to you, your Japanese is questionable, too. Uh, shut up! Explain the writer's feelings? What point is there in that? Oh, it's impossible. I can't memorize all these formulas. Ain't there a good way of cheating? <sighs> Why don't we take a break? And that was the follow-up report on the suspect Kaneshiro. Now, Akechi-san, this case is said to be the result of the Phantom Thieves' actions, but in actuality, is this true? Considering how a calling card was scattered about, I believe there's no mistaking that. The question is what the Phantom Thieves actually did. If they tampered with the suspect's heart, it casts doubt on the authenticity of any confession. So then, by tampering with hearts, the Phantom Thieves are fabricating crimes that may not exist? We can't deny the possibility. There's no doubt that the Phantom Thieves are exposing hidden injustices in society. However, if this is done by sidestepping the law, their way of thinking is very dangerous. So, in a way, they're outlaws. Yes. They're no different than the criminals they target. This cannot be overlooked. I see. Oh, I see. My ass. Why the hell are we being treated as the bad guys? Just let them say whatever they want. More people are starting to understand that what we're doing is right, after all. When I'm walking around in town, I hear a lot more people talking about us, too. And the forum's been full of hype. Do you think we made it big time? Don't get pompous over dealing with some street thug. Save it for after we deal with a bigger target. Just gotta take down a bigger one, yeah? That was the plan from the start anyways. True. It may be best if we start thinking about it. I bet we'll find one in no time. Wind's blowing in our direction and everything. I feel like we won't lose to anything right now. Well, we'll decide on that eventually. We need to overcome our exams first. Now then, break time's over. Let's get back to... That reminds me! The celebration party! Weren't we gonna do it after exams? Yes, I believe so. Where should we go? I feel like I'll study better if I got something to look forward to. The last one was a buffet at a hotel. We haven't gone anywhere since. Hmm? A buffet? Hmm, where would be good? Hey, what about fireworks? A fireworks festival! Oh yeah! It's that season, huh? That sounds good to me. It's hard to ignore a buffet, but I'll take the beauties of summer. Still, I demand that we feast during the festival as well. Do you guys own a yukata? Will you wear a yukata? Shut up. Doesn't a fireworks festival sound good? Uh, you think so too, right? Great idea. Alright, fireworks festival it is. Let's look for a good one. 
Study comes first, though. I won't let you off if you fail any of them. Are we clear? Yes, ma'am. All right, fireworks festival it is. Let's look for a good one. Study comes first, though. I won't let you off if you fail any of them. Are we clear? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Dangerous, almost psychotic blot I have found that it hasn't ended up on the forum yet. I'll kill him, I'll kill him, I'll kill him. That's all it says. Rumor says. Rumor has it she's talking about her boyfriend. Dangerous. Sound dangerous, boy. Yeah, it seems like she'll do something real bad someday, right? It gets even worse. As it turns out, she's a Shushin student. You know a girl named Yakumo Mogami? She's always up near the classroom on the second floor. Please, you have to do something before things get worse. Oh. refreshing morning. How are you doing? I didn't expect the Phantom Thieves would suppress a man that even the police had trouble with. The fact they have so much support online is worrisome. I'm in a bind since I previously denounced them. All the interviews these days ask me about that. Still, can we really say the Phantom Thieves are on the side of justice with just this example? Yeah, let people talk. Oh, thank you. But I noticed that you're not saying that the Phantom Thieves are right. I suppose that was an unfair way to phrase it. I was originally investigating the mental shutdown incidents. Don't you think it's similar to the change of heart that the Phantom Thieves are doing? Hmm. Now that I think about it, their actions mirror the mental shutdown cases with the rate of victims. It's impossible not to see a connection there. Ah, sorry. I don't want to make you late. I'll see you again. Okay, let's get. Da, da, da. This is it. Seven eighteen Marine Day. Miles end on the sixteenth, so that should be good, right? What are you talking about? Fireworks festival. They're really quick to look up stuff like that. Get back to studying. I'll do that tomorrow. Hey, we're in the middle of class. Talk about those things later. Yeah, yeah. Hey, are you listening? What? Why didn't I dodge? Bruh. Okay, whatever. I don't need to dodge for. Hey! We're running into you at this hour. That reminds me. Do you remember that counseling Dr. Barbecue's offering? It seems to be growing quite popular. I saw someone heading into the nurse's office just as I was leaving the school. Teachers say he's been well worth his time here, but I have a feeling there's more to his popularity than his just talent. <sighs> Maybe I should point, find out for myself at some point. What about studying? Naturally, that'll still happen when I get home. It's part of my daily routine. Excuse me. I appreciate your concern, but how about yourself? Depending on the... Depending on the exam scores, there may not be a fireworks festival for anyone to attend. Were you aware? <laughs> I'm joking. But... But make sure you study all... But make sure you study well, right? Uh, All right then. Senpai. 
What a pleasant surprise. Are you headed home too? Same here. I don't have club practice today. That reminds me. There's something I wanted to report to you. Would now be a good time? Sure. Thank you. Why don't we find a seat somewhere? Huh? And you are... It's been quite a while, Akechi-san. And the same for you. Yoshizawa-san, right? Do you have history? My father works at a TV station. Have you ever seen Good Morning Japan? My father's the director. I've been brought onto the show as a guest a number of times now. That's how I ended up becoming acquainted with Yoshizawa-san. I didn't know you knew her as well. She and I made a deal. <laughs> That's right. He's been offering me guidance lately. A deal, you say? Huh. That's quite the interesting relationship you two have. So, what were you two up to? Oh, right! I was just about to share some exciting news. It's nothing to keep secret, so I may as well spill it now. About that summer competition I mentioned to you before, I was chosen to be our club representative. No. This only feels like the beginning to me, though. Isn't your club's team considered to be quite prestigious? And you're their representative. I must say, that's extremely impressive. Thank you. I'll do my best to make everyone proud. I'll be cheering you on as well. Ah, I have an idea. Since all three of us are here, why don't we go somewhere as a group? We can call it our little celebration for Yoshizawa-san's success. That would be wonderful! Does that work for you, Senpai? That settles it. What do you think if I chose to play a It's a wonderful little cafe I know about. Of course. Lead the way. Yoshizawa-san? You drink hot beverages, even in the summer? I have to prevent my body from getting too cold, since the meat's coming up rather soon. I, I see. Make sure to your cup all your system. Holy crap, I just found out that my... that the audio is coming through the speakers and the headphones. What the... Okay. Hopefully you won't get any more feedback. Uh, your drink's just as hot. Good point. Well, some people say coffee can cool you off, even when hot, so I try to avoid that, too. I had this image that you enjoy sweet things, Akechi-san. Is that untrue? I swear I saw you eating fried sweet bread on TV just the other day. It's all part of a marketing strategy. That sort of stunt is an easy crowd-pleaser. You seem to have your own bases covered as well. I feel like too. Presenting oneself in a favorable light is nothing surprising. More surprising is just how innocent you seem to be. I've been wondering, how do you two know each other? His social studies class visited the set of the TV show I appeared on. Ah, that's right. Second year's got to go to a TV station. He and I exchanged our opinions during the shoot, and his way of thinking intrigued me. I can definitely see that. Senpai's take on things often helps me as well. That reminds me, Yoshizawa-san. You had mentioned that he's been providing you with some guidance. Yes. Like you just said, his way of thinking is intriguing. I figured I could benefit from his input. In that case, let's play a little game. Would you mind if I pose the same question to you that I first asked him? No. Go right ahead. So. My question was, what do you think of the Phantom Thieves, Yoshizawa-san? The Phantom Thieves? You mean in the case that they do in fact exist, yes? I admit that the assistance of others in need is a truly great act, but I simply can't agree with their methods. I see. Care to explain why? I suspect the Phantom Thieves' existence isn't going to be beneficial to society in the long run. How so? Well, for example, when someone's faced with a problem to overcome, I believe they need to do it themselves. Getting help from others is totally fine, but in the end, it takes a person's initiative to truly create lasting change. If society relied upon a safety net like the Phantom Thieves, I worry that people would stop making a conscious effort. 
Granted, this depends on how severe the problem is, and it's inaccurate to apply generalizations to an entire population. But I believe a society where everyone simply leaves matters to the Phantom Thieves wouldn't last for very long. I see. So, in the sense of a person's growth, their actions actually hinder it. Quite an interesting take on the matter. Let me ask you then. What do you think of Yoshizawa-san's opinion? It's a unique stance. <laughs> Quite. I'd say it's equally as unique as your own opinions. Wait, could you actually be a fan of the Phantom Thieves, Senpai? <laughs> I didn't mean to start an argument. I just can't help myself sometimes. Let's change the subject to something a bit lighter. I'm sorry, I should probably get going. If I'm away from home too late, my parents will begin to worry. Right, then let's call it a day. Good luck on your competition. Are you rooting for you? Yes, thank you. Well then, see you later. Ah, you're back. Had your friends over for a study session, huh? You know, nothing gets by me. I saw I own the place, remember? I can tell what goes on here just by looking at the tables. Cool! Anyways, bye! Uh, to it I'll start vanguard of my Togo kingdom go forth to the front lines trample upon them all you think to protect yourself with that paltry defense haha <laughs> useless awakened dragon let your shadowy hellfire consume them all dark inferno rook can you hear them the wailing of dying soldiers echoing throughout the battlefield with an Incompetent king, a soldier cannot show his true bravery. Time for you to suffer! At last, everything is in place. My right hand tremples as I release my full power. Check. I summon forth the forbidden move that shall bring your end. Ultimate Excalibur attack! Check. <sighs> I did it again. It's an embarrassing habit I have. During a match, I, um, I tend to get very aggressive. It's as if I assumed the role of a queen of a kingdom. It's interesting. It is. You're a strange one indeed. My father had me do image training exercises when I was younger to help me learn the rules. I gradually began to learn, view the... Uh, I gradually began to view the shogi fuck. Gradually began to view the shogi board as if it were my own kingdom. I had fun coming up with stories and strategies for my um, subjects. However, I've heard that people make fun of me on the internet. People think I'm weird or that I'm an otaku or that I'm just crazy. I mean, I can't blame them. Certainly, I think I'm weird too. I don't worry about them. Yes. Your positivity is a welcome relief. I may be able to learn more from our matches than I thought. That will do for today. Oh. There's something I wanted to mention. Do you read weekly magazines? Well, I'm doing a photo shoot for one. But you don't want to, right? You're quite perceptive. If 
thought you'd be surprised if you saw it on a newsstand, so I wanted to let you know beforehand. In all honesty, I'm very reluctant to do it. But if I can draw more attention to Shoki, maybe the sport will become more popular. At least that's how I'm satisfying... At least that's how I'm justifying it to myself. I have an interview scheduled for tonight as well, so let's end here for today. So. Until next time. My hope rests with the Phantom Thieves. It's open. Welcome. You're the student council president Nijima-san, correct? Excuse me. Sorry for coming by so suddenly. It was nothing. Oh no, everyone's permitted to stop by whenever they like. I know the phrase counseling session can make some people nervous, but don't be. Considering you're the student council president, I'd rather they didn't force you to come here at all, actually. No. Well, I was advised to come, but I still chose to do it on my own. Good. Good. Glad to hear it. But please, there's no need to be concerned about my being here. Feel free to discuss anything with me. Uh, uh right. Yes. So I shall. You're sounding more like a counselor in here than I am. I see. Excellent grades, exemplary conduct. Wow. You appear to be an ideal honor student. No. Oh, no, not at all. Uh, in fact, quite the opposite. I'm actually a bit of a mess, and I always have to turn to others for help. Well, you sure had me fooled. Even still, giving, getting help isn't a bad thing at all. In fact, it's wonderful that you have a support system. Indeed. Especially lately, I feel like I can't do anything by myself at nowadays. Hmm. Did something go wrong for you? Yes. Yeah, but it's nothing major. I've come to understand all too well that it's a bad idea taking on more of a burden than one should. Hmm. You really do seem like someone with a mature sense of responsibility. However, that may be why people around you, especially the adults who should be protecting you, rely on you so much. <sighs> adults, who should be protecting me? Had I been clever enough to understand that earlier, things may have gone a bit differently for me. You think so? <sighs> you live alone with your older sister, I see. Pardon my saying so, but it seems you've been through quite a lot. But... Honestly, it only felt like the norm to me. But our lack of adult guardians has to have been hard on my sister, even now as well. And I'd be lying if I said it wasn't hard for me, too. Do you still remember them, your parents? Yes. Hey, so... Not as bad about my... Not as much about my mother, admittedly, but my father, without a doubt. In fact, now that I think about it, I may well have grown to be a bit uptight because of that. I see. If that's so. And are you doing okay now? Is your support system adequate? Uh. It's not as if I have a team of employees or anything, but I do have people that I'm able to reply to rely upon well. Of course, I never think of them as replacements for my father or my sister. No one could replace either of them. What I've lost won't ever come back. I just need to keep my chin up and push towards my future. Quite. I like the way you put that. No one can ever be replaced. Yet, we need to keep pushing towards our future. Should anything come up with... 
Should anything come up that you want help with, I'll be there to support you through your, my skills. Though, though my skills are pretty limited. <laughs> Thank you. I, I appreciate the kind words. called Nakaoka and Takeishi over here. I'm gonna tell them what that bastard Yamauchi is up to. If they start fighting. <laughs> you probably didn't realize, but I recorded Yamauchi's whole combo back at the Manchester shop. Genius, you know. Anyways, uh, I might need some backup here. Can you stick around. What do you want, Sakamoto? Sakamoto. Takaishi. Nakaoko. What the hell? Are you guys gonna gang up on me? Nah. Dude, chill. I just wanna talk. Listen, this here is what's really going on with the track team. It will be the rebirth of a team that found themselves in the depths of despair. The public will love it. And the best part is, not only are Takeishi's parents devoted, but his mother's the president of the PTA. Until then, he can show the others the value of, of obedience. This has to be a joke. Yamauchi said he'd make me the captain. Is this for real? <laughs> See how she's voicing it. And on top of that, shit's gone down like just like he said. Now she's right. I don't have talent. I'm not like you guys. I ran so damn hard, but you two were always so far ahead. How's a guy like me supposed to succeed? How am I supposed to be proud of myself? Proud? My dad always talks about how proud he is of my of his son. He told everyone I'd get a track scholarship like he did. That I'd follow in his footsteps as a second generation Taisei Tai grad. Second generation Taisei grad. That's why I listened to Yamauchi. He said if I was the captain, he'd write me a great letter of wreck. Come on, man. So you trusted what he was saying about Nakaoka because of stupid crap like that? Sh shut up! What does a thug like you know? You couldn't know how I feel. Nobody does. <clears throat> Heck, how I don't know? How long were we running together, huh? I went through all sorts of shit with you. Sakamoto. Who are you living your life for? Your parents? Teachers? Society? Maybe we should... Maybe you should stop trying to live for them and try living for yourself. You think you gotta betray people to be proud? Well, I... If that's seriously what you think, you're wrong. Hey, Nakaoka, you know... You knew something was up with Yamauchi too, didn't you? I mean, the bastard's never been interested in track before. But you kept quiet. You knew he was walking all over you. You just let him do it. Yeah, I was afraid. Without Yamauchi, we still wouldn't have a team or a place to belong. I see. You missed running that bad? You know, it ain't so scary not having a place you belong. You can kind of be free that way. If anything, I'm more scared of being a crappy person. I mean, I used to be like you guys, afraid lying to myself. That's before I met this dude. I don't 
don't want to insult you guys or nothing, but I know you're probably real pissed about all of this. But so if you want to hit me or something, go ahead. Now I'm ready. In that case, if you insist, <laughs> you're really doing it. You said it's okay, right? Wait, hold on. Ah, did you really have to keep swinging so hard? <laughs> I'm actually starting to feel a little better already. Me too. I think I can finally put all of this behind me. Nakaoka, I'm sorry. I'm sorry too. So you want to bring back the track team? Hell yeah. <sighs> saw that, right? That was some serious violence. Yeah, things turned out for the best. Nah, man. I've been taking good care of this face, and look what I ended up happening to it. Well, either way, they're probably feeling way better now. I think they're gonna be just fine together. Thanks. All I did was watch. You're telling me? You just sat around while I got my ass beat. For real, though. You were a big help. You were pushing me to be cool that whole time. <laughs> it's kind of like I was doing a sprint. You were running next to me. You weren't cool, though. Brutal! Just, just forget about the beating I look, okay? Be the, just forget about the beating I took, okay? Alright. Alright then, let's go. I think my mouth's bleeding, so we'll have to eat some other time. See ya! God, man. My jaw's still kind of messed up. But it's a good kind of pain, you know? Like, just after a workout. They're, re they're gonna have to handle the rest, but I think they'll have to make the right call. Seeing them having a real heart-to-heart -heart talk, they got a good team. So, case closed? I hope so. Still a long way from how things used to be, but I did all I could. Man, if those guys are really gonna go for this, I gotta step up my own game. I'm gonna go I'm gonna up my pace, so you better get ready for it. Okay, later. Here is fairly popular. I've been waiting to try it myself. Got a sweet tooth, huh? Well, I don't hate sweets, but I'm not exactly partial to them. Fads tend to be fairly similar, so I'm more curious about its popularity than its taste. Well, why don't we give it a try? Hmm? It was, it was quite nice. It was delicious after all. I actually enjoyed that more than I thought I would. Hey look, isn't that him? Oh, you mean the guy who's on TV these days? Who is he again? Was it his name Akechikun? You know, the next generation detective prince. Should we ask him for an autograph? Might be something worth bragging about. Uh oh, looks like I've been spotted. Should've figured. 
She's just here for the cake, I'm guessing. I'm sure she doesn't mean any harm, but I don't want to cause any trouble for the store. Huh? Is someone important here? Who is it? <gasps> is it a celebrity? Looks like I'm out of time. I wish I could have relaxed a little longer, though. We should go. You've done nothing wrong. Hmm. Sorry, but I think it'd be best to leave. I'm only going to cause problems if I stay. Shame I don't have glasses like you. Maybe I would have been able to get out of this situation. It, come here a sec. Uh, hold on a moment. What, what are you... Oh, he's back. This time, I'll get... Oh, he's back. This time, I'll get his autograph for... Hey, is that boy really a catchy gun? You know, now that I see him up close, I'm not sure. Maybe you, you were seeing things? I don't remember the show too well, but I'm pretty sure he didn't look like that. Aw, if he was the real thing, I would could have bragged about meeting him. <sighs> I can't believe you actually did that. I suppose I'd better learn to watch what I say around you. It was a necessary evil. Well, you saved me. I dare say such brute, such crude means would never have occurred to me. Still, there's no knowing how things may go unless you give it a try, hmm? Huh? Thank you. I think I've learned a valuable lesson. Thank you. Looks like our coffee's gone cold. Why don't we order new ones? I'll see you later. It's a shame our discussion was interrupted today. I was rather enjoying having a breather with you. But you certainly surprised me today. I can't believe we got out of that with such a basic trick. It was an interesting experience, but... I definitely don't want to go through that ordeal ever again. I saw firsthand what ha happens when I'm too careless with my words around you. But wasn't it fun? You have a twisted concept of fun. Though if you dressed as me next time, I think I might agree. I could use a stunt audible. You and I aren't terribly different in height. I'm sure my clothes would fit you. If we do this, it'll have to be carefully planned, of course. I'll be dictating everything, from hair to accessories. Nobody would notice the switch, I'm sure. We, move, we proved it today. Most people can't see beyond the superficial. Whoops, I'm in. I have an early start tomorrow, so I have to excuse myself. See you soon. I know. Why can't a catchy be our boyfriend? <laughs> Yo. Oh no. I think I might have to reset. <laughs> Shit. Thank you. 
My parents are gonna kill me. There was so much stuff on that exam. I didn't have time to study everything. It probably could have managed if I had an extra week, too. An extra week, huh? The only people who get that kind of cushy treatment are the honor students. Oh, you mean like Yoshizawa-san? I heard the school moved her exam period. Must be nice getting perks like that. Hey there, congrats on surviving finals. Today was the last day, right? Say, would you happen to have some free time right now? There's something I'd like to discuss. I promise it'll just take a moment. Thanks. I know you're exhausted, so I'll make this quick. It sure has heated up now that the rainy season's passed. I just know my electric bill is going to start climbing this month. Anyway, as I'd mentioned, there's something I'd like your opinion on. Do you need counseling? Well, I suppose that's actually accurate. I've had something on my mind lately, and I want to hear your take on it. Okay, here goes. Oh. This is all hypothetical, mind you, but imagine there's somebody for whom you have high expectations. They're trying their absolute hardest to meet those expectations. Now, this person receives an awful lot of special treatment from people so they can perform to the best of their abilities. So, what do you think those people will do if the expectations leveled on this person aren't met? definitely be disappointed. Yep. That's right. When you work as a counselor, you always think, I have to help this person so their heart doesn't break. But that's easier said than done. This world really is a callous one. No matter how much positivity or dedication a person has, just a bit of influence from their peers can easily mess with their heads. Every time I'm confronted with such a situation, I can't help but grasp the limitations of therapy as a profession. You just have to keep trying. Oh, I'm not sick of this job or anything like that. Don't worry. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to get all analytical. What I meant was, if we want to truly help people stuck in a predicament like that, we need a fundamental solution. Like what? Hmm. Nothing really comes to mind at the moment. This is just a thought, but what if we got the Phantom Thieves to change our hearts? Maybe have them shift our feelings so we won't lose to this unfair reality. It would ultimately be for the positive. This sounds tough. Well, I can't deny that. Plus, it's a bit different from changing our hearts, now that I think about it. Sorry, I was just thinking out loud. I seem to have lost track of the time. I should be getting back to my work. Our conversation's been very enlightening. Thank you, and enjoy your vacation. Exams are finally over. <sighs> I'm so exhausted. <sighs> I can get back to actually sleeping in peace. Hmm. You must have been studying pretty hard if it kept you up at night. Nah, I was up playing video games. Slacking off is just too much fun. I know, right? I kept cleaning my room instead of studying. I might even be too clean now. You two are perfect exemplars of what escapism can mean. <sighs> and I can only imagine what the end result will be. Whatever! It's over with now! Who cares about that anymore? What's real important is the Phantom Thieves' popularity. <laughs> Ain't it amazing? It kinda feels like our time's finally here. I've even heard people excitedly speculating about our next target. We will have to choose carefully. There's no need to hurry. We should spend some time thinking it over. Hold up! The most important thing now is our celebration party. I hope you guys didn't forget. It's the fireworks festival on the 18th. I guess we're good meeting up in Shibuya, yeah? Let's say 5 p.m. We sure are on top of these kinds of things.
Now for the weather. Ah. <sighs> this person is re this is your blue lack patience. Are you finished? What? No slacking off. Hey, it's me. Come on, man. So, like... No way, man! Turn in for the night. What's up? Mm. Why? why? Why are you staring at my face? Ryuji, I have a favor to ask. A favor? Sure, you need some money for food or something? Not this time. I've actually been mulling over a new battle tactic for a while now, and I'd like for you to lend a hand in bringing my idea to fruition. Oh, a new move? That sounds badass! I totally want in! Well, it's merely a rough idea at this point. What do you think? Wasn't that, like, way more detailed than some rough idea? Huh. I don't deserve such praise. I would merely prefer to add a splash of beauty to an otherwise barbaric battlefield, so to speak. Sick! So, uh, all we gotta do now is see how the star reacts to your idea, right? We should consult Jose about this soon. However, I can feel my appetite growing after describing my idea. Same here. It's so hot! It's as if we're walking around in an enormous sauna. Whose bright idea was it to come here? Yours. And just look at that crowd. Smiling faces everywhere you look. With that, let's move right into asking some of the visitors here for their comments. A TV crew, huh? We should grab our kebabs and get out of here. Ah, let's interview those three. Hey, is she talking about us? Yeah. What do we do? That would just make us appear even more suspicious. They got us. Oh hell. Okay, I'm gonna ham it up and make some real cringy comments so they can't use any of the footage. Hello. It sure is hot today, huh? Oh, for sure. <laughs> yeah. And if it's this hot in July, can you imagine just how insane the weather's gonna be in December? Uh, anyway, since you're here for the festival, does that mean you and your friends there are meat lovers? Uh, I'd say that we're really lovers of fruit. Oh, and sweets. <laughs> sweets are just to die for. <laughs> well, uh, thank you very much for your time. Oof, that was too close. That was truly cringeworthy. But are you certain that they won't air any of it? I'm pretty sure she thought there was a broadcast disaster. We ought to be okay. More important than that, though, it's time to get some meat! Oh, right! Thank you, Bob! The lines for the food stalls were even more insane than the heat! Standing around in this sweltering heat was rather trying. And almost all the good stuff was already sold out. I didn't even eat breakfast this morning. I'm starting to get lightheaded. Even still, an occasion like this seems to make everything taste delicious. I really wanted a kebab. But, but look, at least we have shaved ice. Well, we came all the way out here, so we might as well go check that thing out. What thing? I heard they're building some kind of huge-ass stadium or something nearby. Wait, is that what it was? 
You don't know what you're talking about, do you? The stadium? Well, such buildings often have intriguing architecture. I'd love to see it for personal reference. Yeah, then come on, let's go! So, that's it? It barely even started? We seem to be premature spectators. I guess this is what people call jumping the gum. Jumping the gun. Eh, there ain't nothing to do here. You want to go grab a bite somewhere? Sorry, I'm considering picking up more art supplies. I have a summer assignment to work on. Also, the summer festival drained my coffers. Even if I did grab a bite, all I could order would be water and a hot towel. Ah, uh, well, in that case, probably ought to just call it quits for today. Hey, isn't that Yoshizawa? Don't you think she's acting strange? You know, she did mention something about a meat earlier. Uh, ain't you guys headed home? Go on ahead without me. Huh? Hmm. Well, see you then. Yes, catch you later. Senpai? Kasumi? Yes. Uh, did you come to see the stadium too? Same here. I needed to give myself a pep talk. Something wrong? Sometimes, when things get me down, I come here. Although, that doesn't really answer your question, does it? I know this may get in the way of your plans, but would you be willing to join me for lunch? Sumi's eyes look a little red and puffy. It may be best to accompany her. Whew, that was delicious. I'm sure packed it away. I'm always like this after a meet. In all honesty, I'd like to keep going. But any more will keep, end up harming my performance. Sorry. Ah. Was it worth it? Simply put, it was a disaster. I've been feeling like I'm getting back into the natural flow of things, thanks to you, Senpai. But when the moment of truth arrived, my body still wouldn't move the way that I wanted it to. Is it more of a mental thing? I think that's a big factor. Something similar happened to me in middle school. Back then, I had someone by my side that kept me going. I have a younger sister. We promised each other that we'd win international gymnastics competitions together. But this spring, she died in an accident. I promised her we'd take the gold for our routines across the world. But I can't stop worrying about my lack of improvement lately. I've really been throwing myself into practice. But I wonder if even that won't be enough. You are, re you are really doing Senpai. your best. Thank you for being so thoughtful. You just Bad keep on rescuing sucks. me, don't you? Okay, no more brooding. There are still more meets left this year. I'm going to start from scratch and train as hard as I can. Thank you so much for listening to all that. Now I feel like I've been recharged. Mind, body, and spirit. <laughs> well, at least my mind and spirit are recharged. The best way to stave off hunger is with some vigorous activity. I'm going to jog home. Take care. Ah, you're back. How could you, crime boy? If you're going to the summer festival, why didn't you invite me? What did you say? How does Mishima know about that? They're showing it on TV. Something about it being hot in December or saying sweets are to die for? There's a bit of, there's a bit with Sakamoto saying some really crazy stuff. You were seeing things. Believe me, I wanted to think that. Look, my point is, next time you guys are going out to have fun, can't I come along too? I'm the Phantom Thief's producer, you know. Oh, man. Are you kidding me? I hope Medion and the others haven't found out. <laughs> Woof. Anyway. Movie. What do you want? What else should I be?
take a look around. Uh, let's get the running dead. That sounds like possible. Left to be found. That's what I heard too. I'm here around this road. What can I get you? No, I got rid of Tempest. What do you think? Do I have lovers? I So much for earlier. Now I can give it 110% tomorrow I practice. You're not going to rest? No. Nope. If I take the day off, it'll dull my senses. Next time, next me, I'll make it onto the winner's podium. I swear. I won't slip up again like I did before. I'll have some great news the next time I see you. I promise. Hey! Today's the fireworks festival. Let's meet at Shibuya at five. Hey, Bakoto, are you going to wear a yukita? I'm planning on it. Yukitas are a great part of the summer tradition. They truly heighten a woman's beauty. I think I will wear mine as well. You've got one? How about you, Reginald? Uh, I'll go in normal clothes. Hey, I know. Why don't you come without your glasses? What's the point in that? I don't know. You don't get to see fireworks every day, so it'll be sad just wearing normal clothes. I was just thinking you might want to go for a change of pace. Sounds great! You should totally come without glasses. Well, you guys better not be late. <laughs> come to think of it. Oh yeah, there's a fireworks festival today. If you're going, be careful. Those things are insanely crowded. Also, why why would you request that you, I don't wear my glasses? I need to see. <laughs> hey. Hey, hey. Ugh, okay. Ah. Wow. I don't know where I was going with that. Shut up. Right when we were just about to leave too. Who is it? Hey, I saw some disturbing news online. Sounds like it, it'll be really bad if it turns out true. What's this about? Well, it seems like an insane group is getting ready to declare war on the Phantom Thieves. I was afraid to just hold on to that information myself, so I wanted to tell you at least. That's actually all I have to say, though. Sorry to bother you on your day off. What could he mean by an insane group? Let's think about this after we get back. We don't have much time, so let's get going. Damn, it's so hot. The holiday means it's as crowded on here as it is for morning rush hour. Wait, 
So all these people are going to the fireworks festival? Ugh, this should be fun. So hot. I feel like I'm being baked. Those girls are way too late. It must be taking time for them to put on the yukata. Why aren't you two wearing one? I don't got clothes like yukata. Man, you look way too normal in that. People often say that to me. <laughs> it's almost as if you're. Oh, gay by as the fuck. way. Exams. I bet you got a big fat F on them. Shut up. We we don't know that yet. By the way, I hope you guys know whenever I say that you skate is gay as fuck. I don't mean that in a bad way at all. I'm gay as fuck, so <laughs> Are you going to the fireworks festival? That's right. Us too! Wanna go together? Are we? Getting hit on? <laughs> Come on, let's go together. Do you happen to be a model? You look great in that yukata. Waiting around's a pain, so can we just go with these chicks? No way. We'll both apologize to the others later. No. That's enough. Go on. You're disgracing your yukata. You should be more aware of your womanhood. <laughs> Bye. How could you? <laughs> Why don't you go after them then? So those are the kinds of girls you like, Ryuji. Uh, well, uh, no, that, that, that's... You know, Yusuke's such a pretty boy, but he is really missing out because of what he says. Mm -hmm. I guess. But he's more likable since he stays true to his ideals. Definitely more than somebody I know. I heard that Ryuji's pretty much failed his exams. Oh? Mona, you little... Hey, it's gonna get crowded if we don't get going. Agreed. But, man, you both look amazing in Yukata. <laughs> Talk about Japanese beauty. Like you need help? Then yeah. why don't you go buy me a towel already, huh? Yeah, we we're just trying to get out of the rain, but look how crowded it is. I guess everyone had the same idea. What's up? Mm. I think I just saw someone I know. You mean the girl in that black car? Well, she's got a ride. Oh, time to show your skills, Mona. We need you as a car. It's not possible in the real world. My feet hurt. It's cold. The festival's been canceled. This sucks. Made such a commotion with the public, and this is what we get? <sighs> Lame. Aren't heroes that lurk in the shadows boring? Yeah, I like the shade. What are you, Moss? I want to change the world with a loud bang, like a huge firework. Then again, we aren't going to find someone bigger than Kanashiro that easily. The rain is letting up. Though it's regrettable, we should go our separate ways for today. 
Yeah, let's go home. So you won't tell me, no matter what? I have nothing more to say to you about that. I see. In that case, I have ways of making you talk. Huh? What's that supp- Thanks for the drink. Hey, we're not done here yet! What's wrong? It's nothing. It's past closing time. Clean up the place. Regrettably, the cause behind the recent psychotic breakdown incidents is still unknown. On to other news. The international hacktivist group Medjid has released a statement to the Phantom Thieves. Mm hmm? These are the details of the message that are posted on Medjid's website. To the Phantom Thieves causing an uproar in Japan. Do not speak of your false justice. We do not need the spread of such falsehood. We are the true executors of justice. The Phantom Thieves again? However, we are magnanimous. We will give you an opportunity to repent your ways. If you agree to a change of heart, we will accept you as our own. If you reject our offer, the Hammer of Justice will find you. Justice, huh? We are Medjid. We are unseen. We will eliminate evil. Akechi-san, why do you think this announcement was made at this time? I don't know the details, but there's no doubt that they were provoked by the Phantom Thieves. Whether it's a sense of rivalry or a simple attention grab, given the recent trends, I cannot say. Regardless, it's quite a nuisance. A nuisance? Both Mejed and the Phantom Thieves are nothing more than groups that uphold an egoistic justice. What a stupid thing they're getting riled up on. Phantom Thieves, huh? What in the world are they? You know about them? I'm not interested. Can't you even take part in small talk? You should have more interest in what's going on with the world. It's about time I go home. Make sure you lock the place up. Also, about the stuff in the fridge. Well, I guess it's fine. Just don't use too much of it. It's possible that more people like these will continue to appear due to their influence. In that respect, the Phantom Thieves face a very serious crime. talk about Medjid. You mean those guys people online are going nuts over? Medjid. That name seems to come from one of the obscure gods from the Egyptian Book of the Dead. I saw the news too. For some reason they think we speak of false justice. Now then, what exactly did you want to speak of regarding Medjid? Well, why don't we go over, go after them as our next target? What a sudden suggestion. I mean, they're like ma bad, hacked or bad hackers or something, right? Technically, they're crackers. Those who use the internet to illegally access and alter data. Medjid is an organized group of such people recognized by the larger international community. So they operate on a global scale. That makes them even bigger than Kanashira. Right? Then so, our next target's gonna be Medjid. I wonder if the Nav will get a hit on if we put Medjid in. Oh, right. That's impossible. Yes, that name has to be a pseudonym. We don't even know how many people Medjid is. Oh. Wouldn't we get at least one member's info if we try and look it into it, though? Even if we did, how would we discover their location? The only confirmed presence of Medjid has been online. This is a greater problem than simply finding their keywords. Unless you have any more ideas, Ryuji? Hello? It seems we, he had suggested this without putting much thought into it. Come on, we can't back down now. People are all excited about it. Our reputation is going to plummet if we can't face this shit. This is true. 
If we remain silent, people would believe we simply chose to run away from the matter. Medjid has taunted us publicly after all. If they are criminals, we cannot just let them be. Yeah. And we don't have any other targets right now either. Hey, Rachel, let's talk to Ishima tomorrow. This is more of his thing. Let's do that, I guess. Also, Makoto, try seeing if your sister has any info on him. It's highly unlikely, but sure. A world-class target, huh? If we can change Medjed's heart, it'll most definitely affect Mementos. I'll just add this. can focus on studying. Hey, it's not my fault my scores suck, right? It, it's your fault. You don't gotta throw the truth right in my face like that. Anyways, there's something more important here. Mishima, you wanna ask me something about the internet, right? Yep, I'm gonna be straight with you here. Do you know who Medjet is? <laughs> you weren't kidding about being direct. Well, I suppose the news about Medjet and the Phantom Thieves has caused quite the commotion. They started out as hackers of justice, but now they only look out for their own self-interests. That's all I know. They were the group I texted him about yesterday. I see. Nobody's sure who actually belongs to Medjet. Well, it looks like things will be exciting this summer. It'll be the Phantom Thief's world debut, no? Dude. Don't worry. I'll be rooting for the Phantom Thieves. I'll get the forum mobilized as well. Now, if we're done talking here, I really must be going. I'll see you guys later. So, that was fruitless. Wonder if anyone else got any info. Ichima was pretty useless. You guys get anything? I tried asking my sister, but it seemed as though she didn't know very much about him. She doesn't specialize in cybercrime, after all. I tried looking into them too, but I didn't come up with anything. There are, are really just no leads. Our opponent is truly elusive. No luck. Medjet, huh? It seems like we won't be able to deal with them by ourselves. I know summer vacation is due to begin next week. But I have an unfortunate announcement. We'll be holding an emergency assembly on Monday the 25th. Please come to school that day. Settle down. We've had many strange incidents. The psychotic breakdowns, students being dragged into crime rings. Hence, Principal Kobayakawa has instructed all teachers to caution the student body. Well, this is inconvenient for us too, you know, having to find things to warn you about so suddenly. How are we gonna find them actually? I'm not sure. No matter how hard I look online, all I find are just unreliable rumors. They have carried out corporate terrorism, yet they still manage to elude arrest somehow. Kanashiro has a lot of trouble, but this is turning out to be a much greater ordeal. Did we buy off more than we can shoot? I'm not sure. Right, there's no knowing who we're actually up against if we can't see the full picture. We don't even know whether it's a single individual or a large conglomerate of people. And even if we do manage to get a lead, what, if, what do we do from there? Damn, this stuff's really not going so good. That's probably why we, my exams are going to shit too. You know those are two separate things, right? Damn, this stuff's really not going so good. <laughs> Clues on Medjet, huh? Hmm. Hey.
Thank you. Echo Takawa-san, we've been spending time in the Red Light District. Both myself and Reginald Kun here saw you there. Based on where you were heading, we assume you, you've work, you're working at a store called the After School Salon. How is it working there? What do you mean? It's just a normal cafe. They make me wear a costume and stuff, but that's... Oh, and I don't have to do anything weird, if you know what I mean. It's all totally legal. <sighs> so you're sure nothing strange is going on? Yep, yep. The worst I get is some weird old guys gawking at me. I see. Beyond that, though, why are you working there? How's your financial situation? Uh, fine? I mean, I can just ask my parents for cash whenever I want. I see. But they'd totally bug me about what I'm buying if I did that. That's why I work at the salon. I get some good spending money. Plus, the guys who come in, they're like super pampered me. Mega pampered me. <laughs> Mega pampered? It's nice having people treat you like you're special, you know? I'm sure a super honor student like you gets all the time, though. Anyways, are you gonna tell on me? You even brought a witness today. Hold up. Doesn't that mean you were you two were in Shinjuku together? What's up with that, Miss Prez? You have the wrong idea. Yes. Right. It was nothing more than an errand I asked him to accompany me on. At any rate, don't mind him. As for you, I don't plan on telling anyone. Oh, I get it. So we're like protecting each other's secrets? Ah, oh, crap. And I just realized your boyfriend's that rumored criminal. You're a real badass, Miss Prez. Well, I told um... you, that's not how it is. I was just worried you were getting wrapped up in some shady business, so I asked him to hear for support. Okay, whatever. By the way, I was wondering, is that a Buchimuro... Is that a Buchimuro-Con pencil case? Hmm? Huh? You know Buchimuro-Con? I had like tons of Buchi stuff back when I was a kid. What a blast from the past! Wait, why is it not so beat up? Well, it was given to me when I was in elementary school. I'd like to buy a new one, but they've stopped selling Buchi merchandise. OMG, this is too hilarious. The student council president has an adorable pencil case. My image of you has done, like, a complete 360 today. Um, isn't that a full circle? Mm, I don't know. I'm just really, I'm just really surprised. You don't really look like the kind of person who'd be into that stuff. I mean, I always thought you were kind of like a robot, but I guess I just had to get to know you better. Hey, why don't we trade phone numbers? I really want to talk to you more about Bucci and your boyfriend. Uh, oh, um... Okay. Wait, hey, he's not my boyfriend. And safe. Oh, crap. This late already? I've gotta get to work. I'll send you tons of pitch of Bucci collection of my Bucci collection later though. Bye bye. <sighs> she was all over the place. Honestly though, I'm I'm in shock. She thought I was a robot. You can change. Yes. Yes. That's why you're helping me. <sighs> you know, I believe that Takao san said about me is how others think as well. I thought I had changed after the incident with Kaneshiro, but perhaps it wasn't enough. That aside, it was also it was almost inspiring to meet someone so distinct from myself. I'm going to try to look at things a little differently from, from differently from now on. Well, well, I think that will help me break out of my shell. I hope you're ready. I'm going to show you how useful an otter student can really be. Alright. 
I'll be interested to speak with Takao-san some more now that I have her contact information. Perhaps I can correct her misconceptions about you. And as always, I'll let you know if anything important happens. I'll see you later. I got a message from Takasan earlier. She turned out to be quite a fan of Bucci. I was crazy to see a picture of her entire collection. She even has a bunch of Bucci motocons. Hmm, sounds like you two get along. Huh? Yeah, I guess you're right. I didn't expect to bond over something like this, though. I'm pretty shocked, to be honest. Though I'm still a little worried about that store she works at. I'll try a little harder to get through to her about it. I might come to you for more advice later. For now, I'll let you go. Talk to you later. So I looked into Medjid. Did you find anything? So, you, as you know, Medjid is a god that appears in the Egyptian Book of the Dead. Huh? Its name appear, apparently means the Smiter. It seems nobody is actually sure that Medjid is a real name. On top of that, almost everything else about him is unknown. Even his form is unattainable. An unseen god that flies through the sky and shoots from his eyes. He truly is an elusive being. Dude, everything about his existence is shrouded in mystery. Wait, fundamentally speaking, ancient Egyptian art always depicted the gods drawn in a side profile. However, Medjid is facing straight ahead with all depictions of him. Taking all of his, this into account, he seems to be quite the alien being. Well done, man. Hey, there's nothing to be impressed about. I hope that information was at least somewhat useful. Indeed it was. Should I look into it more? That's enough, thank you. So, we still don't have any tangible clues. Uh, hey, hey. Okay. wait for today's lesson. Your last prediction was practically perfect. By the way, um, who is this boy? Oh, you needn't mind him. That's just my apprentice. If anything, you can think of him as a human-sized... shoot? You can think of a human-sized stuffed animal. I mean, look how fluffy his hair is! Wait, so he's okay with working for a woman? Even though he's a guy? Something like that is just unthinkable in my line of work. Um... I take that to mean something else has happened with your job? Yes, a male co-worker of mine was given all the credit for a successful project I poured my soul into. And do you know 
told what my boss told me. He said it was just the natural order of things because I'm a woman. <laughs> How terrible. That's why I'm thinking of leaving and starting my own business. We've actually been planning for some time. I'm not sure if we'll be able to find a foothold in the market, though. Here we go. In that case, let's ask the tarot. Show us the truth, O oh divine power. Yes, I've seen everything. Cards have appeared in reverse. Is this? In other words, it seems as though your business is due to failure. Oh, what should I do? I'm sorry, but in this case, it appears your fate is inescapable. Inescapable? What are your thoughts? Were you even listening? What shall we do? What can we do to help this woman who is so oppressed by the savagery of male-dominated work advice? Encourage her? What? It's a little idealistic to expect that will actually work. Incidentally, what would you say if you wanted to encourage her? Overture your thing. <laughs> Don't be so irresponsible. That's simply not an option. How can you expect her to overturn that which is inescapable? Overturning fate. That's right. I don't have to follow the rules of this oppressive society. I can do it. I'll reshape every aspect of my antiquity, in, in, antiquated industry. Cool. My mind is made up. I'm going to quit my job and set up on my own private business venture. And even if I fail, at least I don't. I won't be wasting away doing busy work for that sexist bastard anymore. Thank you, young man. Feel excuse me, Nakumi Sensei. What? <sighs> You're far too irresponsible, Crime Blazon. Her misfortune has already been made clear. Well, the cards will surely back me up on that. What? It seems the sequence of char cards has changed. Her financial future is now appearing as extremely successful. What did you do? Are you... Are you a psychic? Did you use your powers to change the order of the cards? My divine power is capable of sending people like you down to the depths of hell, you know. Oh. That has to be it. That's the only way this could happen. Fate cannot be changed. Fate is absolute. That is how it should and must be. Open your mind to change. It may not be such a bad idea, but if that possibility were the truth, would I keep my voice on this attack? Anyway, you've changed the flow of destiny twice now, both times coming before my very eyes. That'd be helpful. It seems this verification, verification process is turning out to be much more meaningful than I expected. Alright. We'll come back again soon, right? Promise me. Goodbye. this crime boy son? I'm just not convinced about what happened today. So I'm going to get right to my question. You're currently standing right in front of your house, correct? Of course I am. See? That's exactly what my reading told me. Fate is absolute after all. If everyone could reverse their fate as easily as flipping a table, life would be easy. This, this is why I believe I need to conduct these verifications with you. Please pro promise me you'll stop by my booth again. Okay, I'll talk to you later. It seems you've got your share of problems, inmate. To think you would relax under such circumstances. Either you're quite bold, or quite foolish. One with an unseen form. Hmm. It seems you've been targeted by troublesome company. Big news. <laughs> I've been enjoying this endless dispute over justice. However, 
It will soon come to an end, and through the appearance of an unexpected force of all things. Engaging with formidable enemies is also part of your rehabilitation. I ask that you overcome this. After all, you must hone your powers and become a magnificent thief. Well, that was... okay. <laughs> Meaningless. It's really summer now. I get sweaty just walking a little bit. I didn't think Majed would pounce on the Phantom Thieves. Interesting things keep happening this year. The influence of the Phantom Thieves knows no bounds. I underestimated it, honestly. I wonder what the public thinks of this. Are they entertained? Or perhaps inconvenienced? Honestly, entertained. Entertained, huh? A luxury for the uninvolved. I know they mean no ill intent. So this is what the public thinks. Oops, I don't have time for a conversation. My attendance has been poor due to interviews lately. Thank you for your valuable opinion. I'll see you around. I don't get it. Hey, your phone was buzzing earlier. Got a lot of messages from an unknown account. Nice to meet you. I am the one they call Alibaba. I want to ask you something. You're a phantom thief, aren't you? Can you really steal hearts? Who is this? Why does he know that you're a phantom thief? Is one of our teammates pulling a prank on you? You're someone whose heart I would like you to steal. But I'm not asking for charity. Let's make a deal. You wish to know about Majid, correct? I can give you information on them if the change of heart is successful. If you so desire, I can take care of them as well. Do you believe in my skills? I can track down their accounts just as I have with yours. But this is all I can prove at the moment. I've prepared the necessary tool on my hand. Look forward to it. Shouldn't you respond to it? Who is this? Can't find the accounts to send a response to. All I got back is an error message. Hmm? You can't reply back? I don't know what this is all about, but we should probably let everyone know about this. Considering he mentioned stealing hearts, he knows, doesn't he? Seems so. How were we found out? He may have traced our chat log. How careless of us. How would he have known all these details with just that? Do you think that there is another cause? Yeah. I'm not sure why, but that's the feeling I get. Hey, is it that easy to look at someone else's chat log? I don't know much about it myself, but it's probably not impossible, I think. How's it done? Maybe they extracted our phone's data? Why is he getting an error when he tries to reply? Perhaps the receiving end doesn't exist. That's possible? Don't ask me everything. I told you that I don't know much about it. Wait, might this be what is referred to as hacking? Then does that mean this guy's a hacker? I don't get high tech stuff. What does this all mean? An unknown hacker contacted us. I see. I don't really get it. Then is this person measured? I doubt it, considering he says he wants to deal with them. That is, only if we take his words for face value. True. Hey, wouldn't it be great if we got this guy on our side? But we know nothing about his identity at all. We can't trust him. I don't think it's a bad deal, though. Even if Alibaba turns out to be a criminal, I am not helping anyone of that sort. Oh, right. That wouldn't be good. The I've prepared the necessary tool part makes no sense either. Could this just be a prank? He knows an awful lot for it to be a prank. If he knows who we are, won't we get caught? No, if he wanted to report us, I think he would have done it already. He must have some sort of objective of his own. He did offer us a deal after all. I'm certain he'll contact us again. 
There's no telling when he'll do so, though. It'd be best if we stay together. If something happens, we can act at once. Yeah. So, somewhere we can wait and hide for long hours. How about LeBlanc? with a big group. Good evening. We were thinking about putting together plans for our summer. Hmm. Is that a new face I see? It's nice to meet you. My name is Makoto Nijima. I hope we're not being a bother. She's our student council president. Nijima. Is something wrong? No, it's nothing. A student council president, eh? <laughs> I'm stunned. I hope he's not causing you too much trouble. I'm Sojiro Sakura, but everyone just calls me boss. By the way, that was addressed to you. Uh, this old man will get going and leave you kids be. All right, the store's all yours. We have late breaking news on Medjit, whose notoriety rose since their statement the other day. Just moments ago, a new message has been released on their website. They have announced their victory over the Phantom Thieves. Medjit also warns any Japanese citizens who praised the Phantom Thieves to stop doing so. We will report any further actions by Medjit as they arrive. Oh, come on! It's in English! Let me see. The Phantom Thieves remain silent at our question. This proves that we are just. People of Japan, wake up. You must not worship the Phantom Thieves. What? That's bullshit! Keep listening. We will discipline any who worship them. The punishment is the confiscation of possessions. We are Medjed. We are unseen. We will eliminate evil. That's what it says. What does that all mean? They're saying that they'll target sympathizers of the Phantom Thieves. Confiscation of possessions, hmm? Perhaps bank accounts or personal information? Either way, it won't be anything pleasant. Why the hell are we being singled out? Perhaps all they care about is labeling the Phantom Thieves as crooks. That all this wouldn't have happened had the Phantom Thieves not existed. That's complete bullshit! Talk about a troublesome organization that we've been targeted by. Isn't there anything we can do? It's certain we can't do anything about this on our own. Hey, so what's this letter about? No need any more trouble. It's rare for you to get something like this. A calling card? Anything else in there? Who's this from, anyway? There's no stamp on it. Someone must have directly dropped it into the mailbox here. Could it have been Alibaba? That reminds me. He did mention something about preparing the necessary tool. Don't tell me. Is this what he was talking about? What the hell's going on here? All we can do at the moment is wait for Alibaba's orders. Let's brace ourselves and stand by, in case anything comes up. Oh, dear. Really started turning the heat up on the farm. I put a special post up and everything. The showdown between the Just Fantasies and the global organization Medjid is here. The reactions have been great too. Everyone is really engaged. So far, most of the comments have been pro Phantom Thieves. Most likely because of what happened in the Kanashiro case. Those on the other side say Medjid are hackers of justice. But there's nothing resembling justice in what they do. Someday I want the whole site to be filled with pro Phantom Thieves comments. Looking forward to when that day finally arrives. He can look forward to whatever he wants. We have no means of striking back against Medjed. We're gonna be in deep trouble if we don't do something.
Your phone's buzzing. Did Alibaba message you? Uh, it's just Ryuji. Nothing? Let us know ASAP if he tries to get in touch with you. Ryuji again? He just never shuts up, does he? Good day. Good day to you too. Ah, you responded today. Once again, I am Alibaba. You are the re leader of the Phantom Thieves, correct? That's right. I'm I appreciate your honesty. I take it you received the calling card. So it really was from this guy. Are you at school right now? Class. You are a surprisingly diligent student. Now then, I have prepared the calling card for you. When are you going to steal it? Steal from you? What do you mean by that? Aren't you able to steal a heart as long as you have a calling card? Tell him. We need the name of the target. I need a name. A name? Is your heart thievery only truly impossible without such information? It is. I see. I suppose past calling cards did have names on them. One moment. Very well, I'll tell you. I believe their name was Futaba Sakura. If you fail in this mission, I will expose your identity to the world and to the police. Well then, I'll be counting on you. You shall speak again after the change of heart. Here's Futaba Sakura. So he threatened you, then just took off? Sakura? I feel like I've heard that name before. In any case, we should let everyone know about this. We're gonna get reported if we don't do this? What the hell? Taba Sakura? Wasn't Sakura... It's boss's last name! Does he have any family? Does he? For reals? How laid back are you? Wouldn't you normally be introduced at least? I mean, you are living at his place. Well, his situation does make things difficult. The calling card was delivered to Boss's house. It'd be more natural to assume this is all related. One of the reasons for that is because Alibaba mentioned nothing about which Futaba Sakura. Perhaps he thinks that the name alone is enough. That makes sense. I believe it's adequate for us to think that this is the doing of someone close by. I see. I don't know how Alibaba got a hold of his smartphone information. However, since he's ordering us through chat, I do feel as though he's taunting us. You mean, this might just be a prank? I mean, look at his demands. Pay me if you don't want me to leak who you really are. That I'd understand. But he's telling us to steal someone's heart without explaining why. So we're being tested. Regardless, I think we should ask Boss about Futaba Sakura once. That's probably for the best. There's nothing else we can do at the moment, and Chief might have an idea on what this is about, too. I'll check the school's roster just in case. We must make sure Boss doesn't figure out who we are. We'll have to go about this cautiously. turn the audio down for the game and for my voice because I think my voice is a little too the, the microphone is a little too sensitive right now hmm? what's up I want to meet Futaba why do you know about that hmm. got nothing to do with you I'm going home. Make sure you lock up the place. Looks like it's a hit. Well, I just remembered. 
Eshel, were you able to ask the boss about Futaba Sakura? He didn't want to talk. Could there be a reason as to why that was? Hmm. Alibaba might be our only hope of defeating Magic. I wish we could get some info about Futaba out of boss. But trying to force it out would probably have the opposite effect. To be honest, I owe a great deal to both Boss and Reginald. I don't wish for this to be a force of discord between them. Yeah, I know just what you mean. It's probably best to wait for Boss to bring the subject up himself. Of crafting, yeah. Yeah, because I want to make more stuff. All right. Yo, tomorrow's the end of the first semester, but we still got all this lame shit coming up. If you don't take care of this lame shit, you can kiss your summer vacation goodbye. Oh yeah, about this Futaba Sakura girl. If she's related to Boss, think people living nearby would know about her? That's some keen intuition coming from you, Ryuji. You should have made use of that on your exams. Uh, I never want to think about exams ever again. Anyway, asking around in your neighborhood might be the fastest way to figure this shit out. And again, I doubt it'll be that easy. Never is. Welcome. Hmm, Futaba? Over at Sakura-san's? I haven't heard anything. Uh, sorry. Come again. Hmm. We didn't find anything on Futaba. I think our only option now is to go home and ask the chief directly. Let me turn up the volume on the game a little bit. <sighs> you read the letter, did you not? So you're the one who tipped him off about Futaba. You really shouldn't have done that. I have no intention of talking to you about Wakaba. Tipped off? What are you talking about? Back to the matter at hand. Your parental authority will have to be suspended. I take it you're okay with that outcome? What? Considering the state of your daughter and your family overall, there are no points in your favor. Would you like to take this to domestic court? Our chances of victory are roughly 99.9% .9 though. With these suspicions of abuse, there's no way you could avoid having your custody revoked. You're going that far? I told you I don't know a damn thing about it! 
We're extremely serious about this. As long as there's a possibility that cognitive science can be linked to psychotic breakdowns. Fine. You win. Thank you. I will contact you at a later date. I doubt you'll find anything you want to hear, though. That's fine. It will be up to us to decide whether the information you give us is useful or not. Next time I come here, it will just be for a nice cup of coffee. And stay out! That woman is real good at pissing people off. <sighs> What's with that look? You got something to say? This doesn't involve you. Just be talking to your daughter? Uh, that's enough. Just behave yourself and keep going to school if you don't want me to throw you out of here. You got that? Lock the store up. Well, that basically confirms Futaba exists at least. But it sounds like she's got her own problems. More so? Our conjecture that Alibaba is connected to LeBlanc seems to have a pretty solid foundation. Oh, and didn't they mention cognitive something? I wonder what the chief's hiding. We can't really press him on the subject, though, especially after he mentioned throwing you out. I go. Found out something about Tabasaka. I've been wondering about that, too. Uh. What the hell, okay? Oh! So you did learn something. Fine work. I knew we could count on you. Rational to thank you. Alright, that's all we have tomorrow. Oh! No, no, haha. -ha. It doesn't matter whether he's a zombie or. A woman was threatening boss? Yeah. She was going on about domestic abuse and taking the case to court and stuff. Uh, What's up? It's nothing. So to summarize what you told us, Futaba is boss's daughter, and he's abusing her? I don't know him very well. Is he really the kind of person who would do that? I don't know. It's difficult to say. Sometimes the person on the outside is much different from the one within. Is it Alibaba? I've given you the con card and told you the target's name. You should be ready for this. Why aren't you doing it? I told you I ought to help you if you stole her heart. What seems to be the holdup? I also said I'd report your identity to the police if you don't even tell me. Are you uh, are you okay with that? I'm serious here. What a selfish person. Well, he does have information on us. Anyways, this Futaba he's talking about have a palace? If so, I need keywords to get in. Try messaging him about it. Tell me your keywords. Keywords? What are you going on about? Are you just saying random stuff to dodge an issue? What are we supposed to do about this? We'd be able to figure out Alibaba's identity if we could just meet with him. Try asking him if there's any way we could meet up. Let's meet somewhere. Meet with me? That would, that will be difficult. I have reasons for not being able to go out. That's why I'm contacting you like this. He can't go out? Wait, I get it. You steal people's hearts directly. That might make things difficult. Extremely difficult. One moment, I'm thinking. Okay, it's a shame, but I'm calling this deal off. Stop looking into Futaba Sakura. Forget this ever happened. I won't report you to the police either. Don't worry. Sorry for taking your time. Now, if you'll excuse me. Wait a second. I said the deal's off. We're never going to speak again. Don't expect me to contact you anymore either. We're not done here. 
Huh? Did he just shut the whole operation down? This doesn't make any sense. Not only can Alibaba not go out, but he won't let us meet Futaba either. Well, it's none of our business now. We can't contact him anymore. But what do we do about Medjed? We won't be able to get Alibaba to help us with them now. Maybe they were just pranking us. They made that huge declaration, but they ain't done nothing since. <laughs> you mean they backed out because they're afraid we'll change their hearts? Yep. And now it'd just make them look lame if they came out and apologized. Guess with Alibaba and Medjet out of the picture, can we just say this case is closed? You do have a point. I guess it is safe for us to relax a little. Oh yeah! Remember Kaneshiro's treasure? Prepare to have your minds blown! We got... 150,000 yen out of it! That's awesome! We can really go all out with that kind of money! Yeah! Let's make up for what happened at the fireworks festival. We gotta go eat something fitting for the phantom... Mm, where would be good? Ooh, how about sushi? I could really go for some eel, too. The best method is to fill yourself on ginger before beginning to eat sushi. That is my master technique. You don't need to do that this time. Actually, definitely don't do it, okay? I'm all for sushi. You're okay with that too, right? Sushi's fine. Then it's decided. All right, we'll go tomorrow night. I wonder if all that medjet business was just a prank. Now that I think about it calmly, it's strange that they haven't actually done anything yet. If their goal is to target the Phantom Thieves, they sh should want to be acting now, given our fame. Yeah, when you put it that way, it kind of makes me wonder too. Especially after they taunted us the theatrically like that. Yes, however, it would be best for us to come up with a countermeasure regardless. For now though, we should cautiously enjoy the sushi. This is all we can do. Alright. I was thinking that too. I can't really put in my words though. Hmm, this case, right? I'm sorry for bringing this up on the day before our celebration party, too. Cheer up, Makoto. We'll be eating sushi like kings tomorrow. I hope one person in this particular. Um, I hope one person in particular is on their best behavior. I'll refrain from saying who, though. Better not be talking about me. Okay. seem quite busy, Sai-san. I take it you're stuck in the middle of everything? The Phantom Thieves made a mockery of us when they brought down Kaneshiro. And to make matters worse, Medjid, who has been dormant for some time now, just declared war on them. How much more can they screw us over? Stress is bad for the skin, you know. Did you come all this way simply to be sarcastic? How about you listen to my deductions for a change of pace? You may think it absurd, but don't you think the case you are pursuing and the actions of the Phantom Thieves overlap somehow? What are you basing this off of? The one point of commonality across all cases is how those involved have an unforeseen change of heart. I've suspected that myself, but those suspicions are unfounded. I told you at the beginning that this was only a deduction. These just Phantom Thieves are riling up the public. However, that is a disguise. Their true goal is terrorist action by way of psychotic breakdowns. Is that too much? There's nothing at the moment that falsifies that claim. Have you mentioned this to the police? I'd never tell them such things. The only value they have to me is in their mobility and organizational capabilities. Hmm. It seems having you lend me a hand has paid off. I'm glad to hear that. 
What about your case, Sai-san? Did you learn anything from the guardian of that mental shutdown victim's daughter? Nothing at all. I see. Now, what should my next action be for our victory? Handle the Phantom Thieves without remorse. Use any means necessary to win. That's how I would deal with them. <laughs> Very well. This seems to be fun for you. Are you on to something? No, not at all. Well then, to our victory. Okay. Man, the flounder is out of this world. Mm, that texture. Uh, I don't see any prices listed here. It's called market price. Don't worry about it, we got the cash. So good! Hey, is the fatty tuna ready yet? Eat your horses. And don't talk! By the way, boss really the kind of person who would abuse someone? That again? I can't get it off my mind. Especially if it means he could be taken to court. What kind of person is he? Do you truly believe he'd do such a thing? really true about the abuse he'd be a no good jerk pretending to be a guardian maybe the chief is the one who needs a change of heart hold on a sec about that i actually got curious after our conversation and checked his name in the nav sounds to me like there wasn't a hit right anything beyond this is his family's problem we probably shouldn't get any more involved wait you think Alibaba could be Boss's ex-wife? He must have cheated on her, and that's where Futaba came from. Doubtful. Your imagination has run rampant. How foolish. Mm. Still, this is delicious. I've never experienced anything quite like it before. Man, and it's all thanks to us being the fan. Everywhere we go, we hear about these phantom thieves. What rubbish. Think about where we are, Ryuji. Sorry, it just kind of slipped. My apologies for bringing up boss again. We should just enjoy the food. Ijima-san, what are you doing here? Akechi-kun. Akechi? You're the ones from the TV station. Could it be that you're friends of Nijima-san? Do you know this guy? It's nice to meet you. My name is Akechi. Glad to make your acquaintance, Yusuke Kitagawa. How do you know my name? Well, because I'm a psychic, of course. <laughs> I'm only joking. In truth, I'm a rookie detective. You're a former pupil of Madarame, right? I have actually just recently joined the investigation team looking into the Phantom Thieves. Did you see that Mejed has declared war on them? War? Their website was updated just a moment ago. For real? Ah, English again. Wait, what? What's it say? Huh. Why do you seem so agitated? Oh, um... She's, uh, a, a huge fan of the Phantom Thieves. A, a total nut job for him. Hmm. I don't know how wise it is to be a fan of groups like them. What is with these comments? My apologies. I didn't mean to butt into your conversation. But I must say, this is an interesting group. Prosecutor Nijima's sister, an ex-pupil of Madarame, and a few Shujin Academy students. It seems you're all connected to the Phantom Thieves. Perhaps you have better intel than I do. Ah, yes. I wanted to ask you something. Regarding this whole Mejed commotion, if you were one of the Phantom Thieves, what would you do? Hell yeah. Hmm. So you share the majority's opinion. Sorry to disappoint, but we're just normal high school kids. If anything, we want to hear what you gotta say, Mr. Detective. 
My profiling of the Phantom Thieves has led me to believe they are a group of juveniles. They have a relative amount of free time after school and a hideout to slip away to. Furthermore, considering Kamashita was their first target, it seems they began activity around April. In a way, all I've just said about the Phantom Thieves coincides with the group you have here. What? You gonna report us? I didn't say I was being suspicious of you. Me? You're siding with him? I wasn't anticipating that response. You always find a way to rise above my expectations. You really are an intriguing one. I lack your calm mannerisms. But don't you think my deduction is an interesting one? I bet we'd make a great team if we worked together. <laughs> what? The hell are you saying? Well, this has been a valuable point of reference for me. I hope to see you all again. What was that about? You think he's ascertained our true identities? Nah, couldn't be. Right? I'd like to say that it's simply us overthinking this, but... It may be best to be cautious from now on. We shouldn't forget that Alibaba was able to discover who we are. True, but it's not as though he had tangible evidence to prove that discovery. Just keep acting normally. More importantly, things are getting serious with Majed. Oh yeah! What did they write? Here, I'll read it. We are disappointed in the people of Japan and their belief in the Phantom Thieves' false justice. Hence, we shall proceed with our plan to cleanse Japan. This process will commence on August 21st. As a result, the Japanese economy shall suffer devastating damages. For real? Keep going. However, we are magnanimous. We will give the Phantom Thieves one final opportunity to repent. As proof of this repentance, we demand that they reveal their identities to the public. We will attack if these demands remain unmet. The future of Japan rests with the Phantom Thieves. We are Majed, we are unseen, we will eliminate evil. That's what it says. Mm, sounds bad. In other words, if we don't unmask ourselves, Majed will attack Japan, correct? And it seems they are quite the attention seekers. What are we gonna do about this? Only we could get in contact with Alibaba. Our only clues are Boss and Futaba. Anyways, it's too damn hot out here. Why don't we go to Leblanc? We can talk more over there. We went through all sorts of options on our way here, but looks like we got no choice but to ask for Alibaba's help. Question is, how do we get in touch with him? He cut off all contact with us after that misunderstanding. Then again, if we manage to steal Futaba's heart, he may attempt to reach out to us once more. But we don't have any clues on what her keywords are. Damn it, Alibaba! Where the hell are you? Actually, he may be closer than we think. Huh? Hypothetically speaking, even if we stole Futaba's heart, how would Alibaba know that the deed has been done? Would he truly be able to discern that just from cell phone messages? You mean he'd have to meet her in person? Alibaba was able to deliver the calling card here. On top of that, he can check on Futaba's condition. However, according to the circumstances he put forth, he's unable to meet with us. This leads me to believe that it would be bad for him if we were to see the two of them together. It seems to me, Alibaba may in fact be Futaba herself. For real? So she's asking that we steal her own heart? Maybe she wants us to save her from the scars of her abuse. That would be hard to ask directly. I'd like to meet with Boss. He lives nearby, right? I, I agree. It's real late though. What are we gonna tell Boss when we get there? We'll say this takeout sushi is a gift for him. But my fatty tuna! No complaining. Let's all go together. Boss may get the wrong idea if he and I show up alone. Nobody's answering. But the lights are on. Think she's napping? Even Boss would have woken up with how many times we've rung this doorbell. I would think Futaba would have answered by now if she were here, too. Oh, 
The gate is unlocked. Dude, you can't go opening other people's stuff like that. But look, the door seems to be slightly open as well. I wonder why. That's rather careless. Whoa. It sounds like it's going to rain. We should get inside. Do you think that's okay? I don't know. Probably. My apologies, boss. Hello, sir? He's not out, is he? The door ahead is open, and I can hear the TV. I hope he didn't pass out or something. I mean, boss is kind of old, ain't he? I'm a bit worried. Should we go in and check on him? Please excuse us. For. I I'm not freaking out! Could it be Alibaba? I mean, Futaba? Uh, sorry, um, can I hold your hand? <gasps> I can sense someone's presence. Who is it? He's home! Who the hell are you? Don't move! Did you hear me? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm so sorry, sis! Somebody please! You? What are you doing in my house? Uh... You're... Oh, uh, good... Good evening, sir! To intrude. Nijima-san. Wait, are, are you two dating? W we're just friends. Uh, friends nowadays get that close to each other? But that's not it. This, um, uh, things happened and... You kids are here too? Um, we brought you some sushi, but nobody answered when we rang the bell. The door was unlocked too. We could hear the TV, though, so we got worried he might have passed out or something. The door was unlocked? Yes. <sighs> I do that sometimes. Because I'm getting old. Um, excuse me. There's something we'd like to ask. Huh? You want to ask me? There's someone else living here. Isn't there? Yeah, my daughter. Could she be Futaba Sakura? You told Nijima-san too? Uh, um, is there any way we could meet with Futaba-san? I think we may have frightened her earlier, so we'd like to apologize if at all possible. Well, uh, that's... Is she sick? No, no, it's not like that. I don't want you all getting the wrong idea. I shouldn't have kept this a secret from you. Let's talk at my shop. She'll hear us if we stay here. Now, where do I start? Futaba's mother and I knew each other long before Futaba was born. Her mother was a bit of a weird one, but we got along well for some reason. She was sharp-witted, Somewhat stern, a little socially inept, but always carefree. She truly was a great woman. I see. 
When something piqued her interest, that'd be all she focused on. She always worked deep into the night. I thought that'd change after her kid was born. But having Futaba didn't do much. Even with that, she always took good care of her. Working and watching over a child at the same time sounds rough. I guess raising Futaba alone turned out to be tough on her in more ways than one. There wasn't a father. Do you mean... Well, there probably was one. I didn't know him, though. She never said a word about him, either. She was single when she gave birth to Futaba, and single when she raised her. They were an ordinary, loving family. You could really tell how much she cared for Futaba. <sighs> but one day, she left, leaving Futaba behind. Yes, she committed suicide. Suicide? Threw herself into the street, right in front of Futaba's eyes. Shocking doesn't begin to describe that. It's gotta be devastating for a kid. So, well, a lot happened after that, but I ended up taking custody of Futaba. First, she was so depressed, she, she wouldn't even talk to me. Was that because she couldn't get over her mother's suicide? I kept talking to her, though, and she started opening up to me, little by little. That's when I found out Utaba blames herself for her mother's death. What? But why? That part she's never told me. I wanted to know what led her to believing that. But I decided not to rub salt in the wound. Then, a few months ago, she started getting real scared. Even when nothing was happening, she'd say things like, I hear voices and mom is looking at me. Visual and auditory hallucinations. Have you taken Futaba to a doctor? I wanted to, but she refused. Even when I had a doctor come, she locked herself away in her room. Since then, she's become what you'd call a shut-in. She won't take a single step outside the house, or even try to see other people. What about you? She doesn't even let me come in her room. That's pretty harsh. Futaba is, well... A unique girl. She's so quick-minded that conversations with her tend to jump from one topic to the next. It seems like she's always coming to conclusions in her head. There's a lot I don't get about her. Mm. So, yeah, her situation is why I couldn't let you in my house. What Futaba needs is a safe place where nobody will threaten her. Somewhere she can be at ease. That's why I won't do anything she doesn't want. I don't make her do anything she's unwilling to, either. Then again, I know that's no way for her to live. It's all I can do, though. I don't know. She just asks me for things that she wants, like food or these complicated books. Well, that's that. So, can you just... Leave her be. I'm gonna head back then. You all had better head home soon, too. I feel awful for prying into his personal affairs. No way in hell he's abusing her. The reason why Futaba wants her heart stolen must be related to what happened to her mother. So she'd like to discard her feelings of pain, but can't do anything about it herself. Will changing her heart really help her, though? If we can help her, we may be able to stand up to Medjet. Uh, hold on a sec. Do we even know if she has a palace? Let's check. The Futaba Sakura that lives at Sojiro Sakura's house. Is that gonna be enough? Candidate found. What the? She's got one. So someone can have a palace, even if they're not evil? Hey, Morgana. Uh, where's Morgana? I haven't seen him for some time. So, ever since we went inside Boss's house? Somewhere around there. He'll be fine, though. He's a cat, after all. The trains are gonna be shutting down for the night soon, so we should probably be heading home. 
We have to go to school in the morning after all. Oh, right. The urgent assembly. An assembly? What about? Shujin has been garnering a lot of attention ever since Medjet called out the Phantom Thieves. So they need to remind us not to say arbitrary stuff online and add more fuel to the fire. We gotta meet up for every goddamn little thing. <sighs> Talk about a pain in the ass. I mean, it is our fault. Anyway, let's contact each other afterward. No way in hell he's abusing her. The reason why Futaba wants her heart stolen must be related to what happened to her mother. So she'd like to discard her feelings of pain, but can't do anything about it herself. Will changing her heart really help her, though? If we can help her, we may be able to stand up to Medjet. Hold on a sec. Do we even know if she has a palace? Let's check. The Futaba Sakura that lives at... What the... She's got one! So someone can have a palace, even if they're not evil? Hey, Morgana. <laughs> Where'd Morgana go? I don't know. Whatever. Were you just going to go to sleep without even wondering where I was? I take it the chief told you about Futaba, and then you guys disbanded in relief for now? You can't underestimate my intel gathering skills, you know. I was checking out the chief's house. I didn't think our Alibaba would be so young. What was she like? She had long hair and a pretty young sounding voice. Well, I say young, but I think she's probably about the same age as you guys. At the very least, she's surely no amateur. She completely overheard your conversation with the chief. And she can hack into our chats, too. Even if she can't take Medjed down directly, she might have some kind of lead on them. What an odd girl. In any case, we'll need to rely on Futaba to get closer to Medjed. Let's meet up again tomorrow. How about we do it in here? <laughs> Way too hot outside. Anyway, make sure you let everyone know. Futaba Sakura? She had one of these palaces? Hold on. While Medjid was targeting you, you chose to deal with someone completely unrelated to them? Then how was Medjid... What you said about the Sakura family generally falls in line with our investigation. It appears you aren't feeding us a false testimony. If you're lucid enough for jabs, you can get back to your story. It's still unclear to us as to how the Phantom Thieves dealt with Medjed since their identity is unknown. If you tell me something coherent, I may be a little more willing to believe you. Still, to think the Phantom Thieves would have their hideout in the home of Wakaba Ishiki's daughter. <laughs> what a coincidence. No, perhaps it's fate. Regardless, we don't have time to waste. Continue with your story. That assembly had me bored to tears. Huh? Did you have school too, Yusuke? I'm doing laundry, so these are the only clothes I had to wear. You really should buy a couple more outfits. Come now, we didn't gather here to make small talk, now did we? Let's get to Alibaba's case. Well, then, I'll start. It looks like Futaba was listening in on LeBlanc. But why would she want to listen in on the cafe? I have no idea. It's just like Boss said. She's a tough nut to crack. In any case, her hacking skills will be absolutely necessary if we wish to stand up to Medjet. Going by what she has told us, we may even be able to identify who they are. We'll have to trust in her skills for now, then. Anyway, we found out that Futaba has a palace. But can someone who isn't evil have one? That doesn't matter. A palace is the materialization of distorted cognitions brought about by strong desires. That's all. It just so happens that a lot of warped people turn out evil. She's so young, though. The pain she's gone through must be the cause of her distortion. Maybe that has something to do with why she calls herself Alibaba. According to the Chief's story, Futaba has auditory and visual hallucinations, right? There's a chance those are related to some important memories she's holding. It's hard to explain, but those memories may have been warped by the distortions. Basically, we just gotta steal her treasure, right? Well, yeah. So, do we all agree about taking on Futaba's palace? 
She's asked us to do so. I don't think that part is an issue. If we heal Futaba's heart, it will not only help Boss, but she can then assist us with Medjet. I agree. I've been wondering about how Boss said a lot happened after Futaba's mom died, too. Hold on a second. Our investigation of her palace may not go like anything we've done up to this point. Why is that? Having an individual ask you to steal their heart is an extremely irregular case. There's no telling what the palace ruler's disposition will be like, or the distortion that'll be there. We may run into some unforeseen situations. Do you still want to go in? All right. Let's just make sure we're cautious. Well, let's get cracking on those keywords, huh? The ones we have at the moment are Futaba Sakura and Sojiro Sakura's house. We got the who and the where, so all that's left is the what, right? Let us try going to their house first. Boss is busy running the cafe, isn't he? We should make sure he doesn't suspect anything. Important memories, huh? I'll be able to remember everything if I turn back into a human, right? That has to be the case. I... definitely want this mission to succeed. If we can retrieve Futaba's memories, then I bet we can get mine back, too. In any case, it's not every day you stumble upon a hacker like her around. You really do have a gift, don't you? You sure live up to my expectations. All right. Hey, they went on without us. Let's hurry and catch up to them! Now, the last keyword. She's a shut-in, so we just gotta figure out what she thinks her house is. If she can't get out, maybe a prison? Conditions have not been met. Perhaps a labyrinth with an unknown exit. Conditions have hmm. not been met. Maybe an oasis? Conditions have Nothing not so met. far. In that case, how about hell? We don't have nearly enough clues. If only we could ask her directly. We can! Come on, let's go see Futaba. But what will we say to get in? What do you mean? We're sneaking in. You have to be joking. Won't the door be locked for sure this time? I'll take care of that. Oh, and I figured out where Futaba's room was when I snuck in last night. If we run into Boss, though, there's no way we'll be able to avoid his questions. He's at work now, so I think we should be fine. Oh! Getting cold feet, Makoto? Don't worry, it'll be nothing. We've got loads of shit like this already. This is our only choice, right? I suppose Futaba did get in contact with him. Perhaps she'll at least be willing to speak with him? Very well. Let's do this. This is Futaba's room. Futaba-chan! You're in there, right? There's no answer. Futaba-chan, are you there? I'm sorry for being startled and screaming yesterday. It was so dark that I got scared. No reaction whatsoever. Ah, this is gonna be hard. You're listening, right, Alibaba? Is it Alibaba? Why are you here? Why is she only reacting to that name? You're Futaba-sakura, aren't you? She's not responding again. Does she not like us saying her name? We don't have time to dally around. We need her keyword before dealing with Alibaba's identity. We want to learn more about you. If we don't do so, we can't steal your heart. The reason why we came here is because we need the keyword to enter your palace. That's why we want to talk with Futaba Sakura herself, and not Alibaba. You don't have to show yourself. Just answer some questions for us. Chat messages are fine. Okay. All right, then. Our leader, the guy who lives in LeBlanc's attic, wants to speak with you. We're counting on you. Try and get a keyword out of her. What do you want to hear? What's this house look like? Looks like you should ask something different. Living in this house. It's painful. Why? I don't know. Looks like you should. Why don't you go out? You can't leave this place. I'm 
going to die here. Uh, die? Is this going to continue? Why do you think that? Why? This place is my tomb. Tomb? You think that's it? Try entering tomb! Input accepted. Searching for route to destination. We got it! Is that enough? Yes. It was plenty. You haven't forgotten your promise of helping us if we complete your request, right? I haven't. We made a deal. Well then, let's hurry up and go. And clicky. You idiot! Don't activate it here! Desert. Yeah, we see that. Wait, what the? Our, our clothes are still the same? Futaba herself is asking us to steal her heart. It'd be odd if she saw us as a threat. If she doesn't see us as an enemy, then your clothes don't change. That's how it works. But more importantly, I told you to be cautious. Why'd you activate it like that? Is that why we ended up in a desert? Where's the tomb? Oh, it's so damn hot here. Even though we entered right in front of her room, we didn't end up inside it. She must really want to keep people away from her. Mm, I see. What a bleak feeling this place has. It's the complete opposite of Kanashiro's bank. Let's hurry up and get going. Where's the palace? Is it that way? Oh yeah, there's something shiny. The tomb in the desert. I see. Anyway, let's make our way there. Isn't that kind of far? Are we gonna walk? Of course not. My paws will get burned. I've been waiting for this. I'll make sure to put the AC on full blast. You're so considerate. <laughs> right. All right, let's roll. beats opening the windows to the hot desert air. Uh, hey, On, can I have a drink? Didn't you have mineral water? I drank it already. <laughs> How are the guys? There we go. Why is every single I've granted I've only played this single four holder, but why is every protagonist a pervert? It's so hot. The AC ain't working at all. What the hell was that lukewarm air about? That was the best I could do, so quit your yapping! For real? You are so half-assed! What was that? You wanna fight, punk? Jeez, shut up! It's hot, so don't make me more irritated! <sighs> to think her palace would be a pyramid. Hey, a pyramid's a tomb, right? Yes, it's a pharaoh's tomb. That's how it's mostly known. There are a variety of theories on it. For instance, it's even said to be a device for reviving the dead. Reviving the dead, hmm? It's beautiful nonetheless. It's perfectly conformed to the golden ratio. Hey guys, can we go in already? I'm gonna melt. Oh man. Seems. Indeed. <laughs> okay. Yes. Whoa. What 
to do. So Hey, is this? That's Futaba's shadow. It isn't the real her. Oh yeah, you've seen her face. True. This one's kind of dressed like a queen. So you're Futaba Sakura. <sighs> hey, where's the treasure? It's doubtful that you wouldn't know where it is. Hey, say something. Don't be like that! I'm sorry, Futaba-chan. It's okay. There's no need to be scared. So, can you tell us where your most treasured possession is? This is going nowhere. Let's just leave her. Will you guys shut up for a bit? Those, Those who, who plunder, plunder my tomb. tomb. Why, Why have you come? She talked, but... What are you saying? You want us to steal it, right? If you believe you can steal it, then try as you might. That's rather defiant sounding. Perhaps this is that Sundere thing, where someone is harsh or sweet depending on the mood. Considering the state that my palace is in, there is no way that you can steal it. Creepy child, you killed her! You're a plague! What are these voices? Murderer! Why don't you say something? Murderer? You're the one who killed her! So your fault! This is horrible. Hey, the hell is this? Don't come Don't near just me! Don't stand there! Say something! It's your fault! Murderer! That's, That's right. right. I did it. What? I am the one who killed my mother. What was that? My mother exists. Here, I will remain here. I will do so until I die. Our clothes. She sees us as a threat now. What's going on? Hmm? This again? Creepy child. You killed her. You're a plague with that murderer. Man. Why don't you say You're something? You're the one who killed her. That's right. I killed mom. I don't deserve to be alive. This place is a tomb. I'll die here. That's right. Die! Don't come near me! Don't just stand there! Say something! It's your fault! No! Someone help me! Damn it! What the hell? This is bad. I'm having a hard time getting a grasp of our situation. We should reek, but... What now? The date that Medjid is set for the Ejid Cleanse is 821. That day is fast approaching. The Phantom Thieves, whom they singled out, have not made any notable actions at this time. Will Medjid carry out their cyber-terrorism? In order to stop them, we need to help Futaba Sakura before the 21st. Our deadline is about two days prior, so the 19th. 
Meeting up in Shibuya, then coming here is a pain, right? Let's make this place our hideout for a while. Is everyone fine with this place being our next hideout, then? We must take care not to be discovered by boss. There's no telling what may happen inside that pyramid. We all need to be cautious so that place doesn't become our graveyard. Man, this is gonna be one crazy summer vacation. We're dealing with international hackers and looking for a treasure in a pyramid. How can you be enjoying this? This is a crisis of whether or not our group continues on, you know? I know that. That reminds me. While we were in the Mona car, you were staring at me with a dirty look, you perv. Shut up. It was a great view. You guys were looking too, am I right? Indeed. The pyramid's golden ratio was truly a sight to behold. That ain't what I'm talking about. I wasn't staring, Lady On. I'm a gentleman, after all. It's not that you weren't, but that you couldn't since you were transformed, am I right? <sighs> Will we be all right like this? Not again! How much longer will it take? The heart is more problematic than we had anticipated. Hey, Alibaba, can you really do something about Medjid? Of course. Unfortunately, we have next to no evidence to support that. Your work will be rewarded, I promise. Besides, you have no other option, do you? I suppose that's true. Can you do stuff like keep down a server? Show us! Hey, don't start any trouble. That's all it would take to convince you. Alright, I ask that you care, take care of this quickly. Until then. Wait, are you ditching us again? This is troubling, but we need to do what we can at the moment. I have concern for Futaba herself during all this. Man, why did this have to do during be during the summer vacation? We don't have any other choice. Reginald can as always will sight of her palace bothers me too. We have to do this. Hey, listen up. This is horrible. The fan site is gone. I tried to access the URL, but it says the page doesn't exist. The fruit of my labor has completely disappeared. Oh, do you think it's because of Wretched? This supposed to be some kind of penalty for cheering for the Phantom Thieves, but what? They're totally jumping the gun. There's still time to fill the blinds. Hold on, something came up. Is this proof enough for you? What's that supposed to mean? Do you think it's a virus? Oh. Calm down. Well, uh, it looks like everything's back to normal. Sorry for making a fuss about this. I just wanted to try and look into it a little, little more. Hey. Was that Alibaba proving what she said earlier? Talk about a crazy thing to pull off!
first of all. had a practice ex entrance exam, and my score was significantly lower than last time. I'm concerned. That's unlike you. I couldn't agree more. Actually... The truth is, recently I have started questioning the entire point of my education. What do I stand to gain from getting good grades and living up to the high, high expectations my sister has set for me? I spoke to Aiko about this matter as well. Sir, I haven't become any clearer. Hmm? You don't remember Aiko Tako? You, we asked her about the job she was, she has at the salon in Shinjuku. Anyway, we've been calling each other every day so often since we exchanged contact information. Because of those calls, we've actually grown somewhat close. I voiced my concerns to her. She asked how I would benefit from being in a top, going to a top university, but I couldn't come up with a good answer. As for Aiko, her grades are not the best, but she claims she doesn't even think about that stuff. Apparently, her parents can use their connections to find her a job. Hmm. But isn't that a little irresponsible? It's nice she can rely on her parents, but this is her life. Not her theirs. I guess that's just a different way of approaching things. Even at that, her vision of the future is still clearer than mine. Don't you have goals? Hmm. I used to think doing what others expected of me was the best way forward. I was going to major in law, just like my sister did. After that, I would simply have headed down whatever path society had made for me. But... Everything changed when I joined the Phantom Thief. I realize now there are more important things in life than being a prim and proper honor student. Honestly, I would have looked down in, on Aiko's line of thinking in the past, but I know better now. She must have known I was talking about her. Lately, Aiko's been telling me whenever she buys makeup or finds a cute new outfit. That reminds me, she asked me the other day what hand cream I use. I sent her a picture and it's apparently the same brand they use in the nurse's office at school. Why do you use it? Yes. That stuff works wonders for dry skin and it's great value too. Actually, My father used to use it all the time. Did I ever tell you he's a police officer? He detested the corruption in our society and worked tirelessly to bring it to justice. But despite the rough exterior, he was extremely gentle deep down. That reminds me. When I was little, I told him I wanted to grow up to be a police officer, just like he was. He was glad to hear me say that, but to the point out that he didn't want me doing something so dangerous. I would completely forgot about that dream, to be honest. It's an amazing goal. You're right. I suppose. Either way, after everything that happened, I had no intention of working with the police. Besides, 
They're trying to stop the Phantom Thieves. What am I supposed to do? Arrest myself? I think I need to re-examine what my goals are for the future are. Outside of just planning, plain studying. Thank you very much. It feels like I remembered something important today thanks to you. I guess you could say my viewpoint has been broadened yet again. Alright. Hey! When I met Aiko, I realized how narrow my viewpoint really was. I only just learned recently that a chemist is. Chemis. Chem. Chem. I don't know. Is now called a camisole. And a button down sweater is a cardigan. Is a cardigan. Why does the same thing have to have multiple names? I guess in the end, I'm just becoming more aware of how little I really know. So please, help me keep fighting back against that ignorance. I'll see you later. Ah, you're back. Just what's Med Jet gonna do? It is hard for me to be even fathom what it could be. People have really been up in arms about the whole cleanse thing. A global hacker group would be targeting us. Should we just ignore them? Yeah, great idea. Uh, sorry, my bad, dude. No matter how you look at it, we need a countermeasure. Our best bet would be Alibaba. But she may not be able to. But, but, uh, but she may not be capable of it in her current state. I guess we should think of some other ways to do that. Yes, it would be best to have so as many solutions as possible. Well, we still got time, so let's come up with something good, okay? This is your first time coming to my stand, yeah? Yeah, a, a colleague of mine recommended you. He said you can help fix my problems, is that right? Yes. Of course. Fate is absolute. So, the thing is, I'm engaged to be married. Next spring, I'll be tying the knot with a friend I've had since all the way back in preschool. <laughs> That's wonderful! Congratulations! So what's worrying you? Is it the date of the ceremony, or perhaps the uh, location of your honeymoon? Oh, um, no, it's not like that. The problem is I'm not entirely sure we'll be able to get married. The truth is, the president of one of her major business partners has offered me her daughter's hand. What? So this is what it means to be weighed down by societal obligations. Do, um, do you think it would be bad if I declined that president's offer? <laughs> uh, please relax. The divine power will bring us to your hands.
a ruin if you decline. No, D does that mean breaking off my engagement is the only option? Um, my boy son, this may be a good time to demonstrate your powers. This man is bound by the fetters of societal obligation. How should we, we move forward? Follow his heart. <laughs> That's a wonderful suggestion. Though, I guess anyone could have some have come up with that answer. Incidentally, what would you say to make him choose his childhood friend? These may steal her heart away. What? These? She's not a child. Wait, you really think someone else would try to go after him? I'm not going to let that happen. The only one who can make her happy is me. I was a fool for hesitating, even for a moment. I I'm going to marry her. Thank you so much. It's happened again. <sighs> so you have altered fate once more. His fortune now states he will be quite successful. I have questioned your power, but this is the third time. I have no choice. I must accept that fate can, in fact, be changed. Proven that to me. <laughs> As a sign of thanks for showing me the truth, I'll provide a special fortune service for you from now on. gotten so late. Oh, I should start packing up for today. I'll see you next time. Goodbye! Quite comfortable, just as I thought. It does remind me of my atelier. It seems also a fine place to relax and enjoy a good book. Yes, I'll be revisiting more often. You know, I never asked. What kind of art do you like? Yeah, but it's everything. I see. Yes, of course. You judge art on a base, piece by piece basis, not by job. I've been blind this whole time. Looking at something without my preconceived notions. Is this what it means to ask the heart? Thank you for sharing your opinion. It was in my head. Sorry I'm late. A student asked me for some advice as I was leaving. That's actually been happening a lot lately. I wonder if they see me in a new light now. I need to work hard so I can make up for all the times I let my students down in the past. I'm glad to hear that. Apparently they like that I'm not too serious. I guess my laid-back personality is coming in useful. So, um... Now, this is coming from me as your teacher. An awful thought occurred to me the more I spent time with you. And I can no longer overlook such a grave danger. You... 
are way too lax when it comes to your diet. You need to be more serious about your nutrition and the state of your room. You need to stop slacking. I mean, look at how dusty this place is. I put up with the mess because you are my client, but you need to thoroughly clean in here. There you go, sweetie. I'm currently in the process of eating better myself. I only have cup noodles every oh, other day now. Shoot. I didn't mean to do that. Oh, I was talking about the the broom thing. She's she was a maid. Oh, why did I do this to myself? <laughs> I swear I'm not. There are just some things you have to prioritize over your studies, you know? Oh yeah, there's one more thing. You're a member of the Phantom Thieves, right? What are you talking about? That whole thing with Takase Kun's guardians worked out way too good for me. And you're the only one who knew about my situation. So what if I am? Hmm, well. Don't worry, I have no intention of telling anyone. There are a lot of stories about the Phantom Thieves, but in the end, they help people like me, right? That's so you. I just thought you were a problem child with a criminal record, but now I know better. I'll support you 100%. You're not just a student to me. You're someone special who helped me realize my path as a teacher. A new path where I'll never abandon any of my students. I'll make sure of it. Right? For my students and for you. I am thou. Thy bond shall become the wings of Rebel. Thou hast awakened to the ultimate seek. Let's get into it. 50 terms, go! I don't want you to flunk your exams. Yeah, but weren't, weren't, weren't exams like literally like... <sighs> I'm tired all of a sudden. Okay, cool. <sighs> What are you doing? It's hurting. How many longer? How much longer are you going to make me wait? Do you not care about me reporting you to the police? Whoa, slow down. Just give us a little more time. I can't do that. We're trying our best here. If you truly cannot wait any longer, go ahead and report us. Hey! Maybe I can give you a little more time. Alibaba doesn't know what's happening, so I'm sure she's getting anxious. We'll just have to try and appease her for a while. Hey! Hey! To win, we really root for our arrival. Rival X. Whoa! Me too. Those are cool. I really get that. But... Sorry. <sighs> oh, come on. See ya. Ah, you're back. What shall we do?
What do you think? Try to cut ties with me, and you come back for more. I'll kill you, boss. Boss. Oh my God. No, that bastard shot him. Song must play. Boss. That's beautiful. You're right. That wasn't too bad. Do you think it's weird if a girl likes movies like this? Not at all. Do you think? Really? This is the first time I've been told that. Sorry that I called you over here so suddenly. It felt weird watching a Yakuza film all by Thank myself. since I've come to a place like this. Sorry for dragging you along. It's a nice place. <laughs> I'm glad you like it. This suits you, huh? I wasn't sure if you were the type. Huh? I thought I recognized those glasses. Look who it is. And we were... We even got the second detective prince here, too. For real? Wait, what? After all, you are, uh, uh, oh, uh, don't mind me. I'm just a reporter. He helps me with my articles sometimes. But who would have guessed you were friends with the famous teen detective? And unlike you, he's pretty hard by an anti anti phantom thieves, huh? <sighs> mind if I ask a couple questions about you? Oh, you're down? I was just kidding. I'm no model journalist, but I'm not dumb enough to pry into a high schooler's private life. I thought this record would be boring, but I got a nice surprise out of it. I'll see you next time I need info. I have some friends in the media, I see. You have some friends in the media, I see. And if I heard right, you two have some sort of professional agreement? Nothing bad. Uh, I wasn't worrying about that, of course. If, if you have to explicitly deny it, then. Nah, just a joke. I'm sorry if I'm, sorry if I'm crying. You truly are interesting. Thank you. Thanks for coming out today. We should head home. There's still no response from the Phantom Thieves to Meja. What do you make of this? Most likely, the Phantom Thieves simply don't have the means of confronting them. After all, Meja is quite different from anyone they've gone up against thus far. It seems their best option is to reveal their identities before more people are needlessly harmed. You really hit us where it hurts. Where have you been? I'm searching all along. Alright. Read here. A fee is refit. I <laughs> <laughs> want to talk about what's in the back. Is that right? That was a custom gun that I modified to make it look as real as possible. I had a customer who had, was interested in it. You helped me out by smuggling it out out of here so that I didn't get caught by those detectives. You're an accomplice, so don't go snitching. I got everything on my security camera. I want to see more. <laughs> hey. Want to talk in the back? 
Who the hell are you? That enthusiast. At your age? Hmm. Well, I guess you've got the heart of an enthusiast. <laughs> You're a strange one, kid. Wait a sec. <laughs> yeah, this could work. Hey, I can grant that wish of yours, but you better have the money. These things are worth hundreds of thousands of yen per unit. Sometimes they even reach the millions, depending on how I feel. Just let me buy them already. You're not bluffing, are you, kid? <laughs> May actually make you more useful if you are. Look, I ain't a bad dude. I've been known to compromise from time to time. For example, you help me out with my business, smuggling goods, destroying evidence, and as a reward, I'll introduce you to the special menu. With good prices for a punk like you, what do you say? Not bad, huh? What's your goal here? That's on a need-to-know basis, and you don't need to know. Gotta fight evil with evil. I need a pawn of my own. Don't talk to no one about this. Got it? Just follow my orders. Now what's it gonna be? You gonna take my deal or not? I'll do what I can. That's fine. Okay, I'll work on that special menu for you. You should be grateful. It seems you had model guns in your possession as well. Their detail goes beyond a simple hobby. I'm sure some people believed those guns were real. You'll tell me how you procured them, won't you? Spill it. I am the it shall with the birth of the All right. Oh yeah, when I don't got any business going on, I'll have you do some miscellaneous chores. Queen, run errands. There's plenty for you to do around here. Must be pretty exciting for an enthusiast like you, huh? Hey. That's my contact. When I text you from that ID, it'll be because I need help around the shop. Just so you know, if you get caught or anything, I might I I never met you. Nothing to do with me. You clear? If you want something, you're gonna have to work for it. So what's my first job? <laughs> Take it easy there, cowboy. You're that eager to get into it, huh? I'll send a message when everything's ready. Hope that I can count on you, kid. Later. So, okay, that's it for today. Head on home, part. Hey! I'm going to shrivel up. What shall we do? Now. Original have actually already been to this. Pretty sweet, huh? Not too many people getting uh, in your way. Anyways, huh? Yes! I want to slim down. Huh. Arabics alone aren't just. I want to tone up too, so I need to start lifting weights. Plus, my shoulders are drooping. I want to make my biceps leaner, and I need to straighten my back out. Obviously, I want to cut down on my weight size too, and firm up my butt and calves. Have I'm a guts demon. Come on. What the hell is that even supposed to mean? Anyways, motivation's good and all, but you're not gonna be able to move tomorrow to do all that shit. Mm. You come up with a training regimen for me. Uh, you're such a pain. <laughs> you do? 
that for me, I'll go on a date with you as a reward. F that. Quit thinking you're some sexy character in an anime. It's sad watching you like this. Seriously? What? No way, man. First off, one of them sexy characters never comes to the gym in their PE uniform. How am I supposed to know that? I've never even been to the gym before today. Definitely. Even a smaller article would be great. Huh? It fell through? Yeah. But I guess that's okay. <sighs> that was supposed to be in two magazines the month after Vex, but apparently one canceled on me. It was a black and white shoot, so they said I wouldn't stand out. It sounded like fun, though. It was about the everyday life of models. I guess you just gotta find somewhere you do stand out then. I guess you just gotta find out, find somewhere you do stand out then. Huh. The past is somewhere my vibrant charm will shine, right? No doubt. Yeah. Uh, where? By the way. Hey, speaking of magazines, there was a really pretty girl in that one you said you were starring. She's got this innocent vibe, but she's sexy too. Now that's what a real child looks like to me. When are photos of me too? Uh, yeah. And did she have long brown hair? Yep, that's the one. You know her? You gotta introduce me, dude. Of all the girls you could have been talking about, you just had to be. You just had to be Mika. Ugh, I'm so pissed. Come on, which machine are we doing first? I'm gonna break it. The three of us trained until we have reached our limits. My body hurts, but for some reason I, I feel satisfied. That's what working hard feels like. Not bad, huh? Yeah! Yeah, that was actually pretty fun. I think it was because of the two of you were here with me. I had to prove I was working extra hard. <laughs> Simple stuff like that, though, will help you keep pushing. You were being so cool, too. Whoa, crap, for real? Mom forgot to buy stuff for dinner, so I gotta. I guess I gotta head home now. See you guys. Luigi just keep, can't say no when Mom needs help, Mom. I'm actually a little jealous of their relationship. Growing up, my parents were super busy. They always told me I was strong and that I'd be fine on my own. I was free, but I was lonely. I'd make friends, but we moved a lot. Every time I had to start all over again, I actually got used to the loneliness. But that all changed once I met Shiha. The world seemed so helpful. I heard her view happen. Going to be officially transferring school soon, too. Hey. I need to show her that I'm working hard and that she doesn't need to worry too much about me. I'm sure she already knows. Yeah. Right. She needs to see how much I've learned from her.
got to know. That's me. Gah, ugh. My muscles are so sore right now. Going home took me more took me more than twice as long as usual. But I'm really proud of the work I put in today. I would have just given up if I went alone. I'm so glad I had you guys with me. You two are the best. I wonder if this is how Shio felt with her rehab. Being able to push herself because someone was there for her. You can ask her yourself. Wait, but what if she flat out denied it? That'd be so sad and embarrassing. But well, no matter what, I'm gonna stay by Shiho's side. I want to stick with her until the very end. Not much time left until Shiho switches schools. I need to up my coolness so she can take off without worrying about me. Ah, ah I forgot how sore I was. Okay. Hey. All right. Okay. Yes. Let us go. Oh. All right. Let's start today's job. All right. I'll be it for now. Let's do it. 